Blackbusters. What's cracking? What's cracking with the family? Welcome to the Blackbuster Podcast, the best movie critic of uh, podcast in the entire world and galaxy. In the world, Craig. In the world, Craig. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm your host, Big Ja. Mm -hmm. This is my co-host, Brother Tone. Tony What's Price. Happy, what up? What up? Chilling, man. We having a good time, bro. I'm excited for this one. I, I love sports films. But before I get to that, I want to introduce our guest of the hour, my brother, Ken Edwin. Hey, what's up? Everybody? Yes, sir. What's going on, yeah. man? Yes, sir. Thanks right. for having me. Yo, <laughs> yeah. You already know it's about to be a, it's about to be a party even now that my here boy's we here. Yeah. We doing it, man. Uh, also, can I go ahead and, and do something on the strength of uh, this movie? Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and take off my hat. <laughs> and I'm going to tie my hat. Oh, oh, get a birdie going. Do it. Get, the, get, get a birdie, birdie going. Hey, if y'all don't know what he's doing... <laughs> I'm sure y'all can mm -hmm. look at what he put around his head yeah. and who does he remind you of, uh -huh. brother Tupac Shakur. Because of today, That's where I'm at all day. We are now doing the movie of the of the hour is Above the Rim. All he need is a buck fifty. You need a that buck fifty buck right buck 50. there. I was gonna have and a the, razor blade in there. And the razor blade. Right. In the, you know what I'm saying? We doing Above the Rim, uh, written and directed by Jeff Pollock, Benny Medina. Barry, Michael Cooper, mm -hmm. and all that. You know what I'm saying? 1994. 94. 94 is, is, is when the film comes out. The 90s. Yes, sir. Um, arguably, maybe the best movie soundtrack of all time. That's not a maybe. He's you think like, it is? You think it's definitely the best? I mean, I, I mean, it's, this is my time. So. This is, yeah. hey, that, the film, bro... The, I, I said it, I always say it, 90s had the best soundtracks. Right? Oh, absolutely. 80s, 80, you know what? 80s was the best and the worst music of all time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this, this that can be rivaled by the 90s, but 90s best soundtracks, yeah. bro. And uh, Above the Rim is definitely a top three for me yeah. um, musically. And I wish we had that much time to talk about music. Just the soundtrack. Just the soundtrack alone. Just we the could soundtrack. do our well, it, it connects with the movie, though, like Facts. big time. Because, mm -hmm. you know, they. They had all that dog pound music in there. Man. They had Tupac Yo. music in yes. there. Yes. They had people from the East Coast jumping on tracks on there. It which, was it was a great yep. which shows you how good a soundtrack it was. Mm -hmm. Because this is a West Coast based soundtrack right. for was, a film based in the East Coast. In the East Coast. In the, in the East Coast. Yeah. And it right. and it still that shows captured how the great essence. it was. Yes. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And, and yeah. yeah, it it captured it captured the essence for sure. Um, let's get into it. Mm -hmm. Main characters, the cast. Yeah. Give us the rundown um, of the movie. What's what's the the general synopsis and plot line of the film? The, the, the general synopsis is basically a young man in high school named uh, Kyle Watson, um, played by Dwayne Martin. Shout out to Brother Martin. Mm -hmm. He did a great job. Um, definitely, in my opinion, the best actor, basketball player in TV in <laughs> movies. Period. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, he was in high school and he was a leader of his team. But he had uh, he struggled with arrogance and you know being a team player, um, and he was raised by a single mother, and he was just basically going through life as a young boy trying to get to college and the NBA eventually, right? So it, the, the, that's the, the the plot is that he's playing basketball his senior year, mm -hmm. and he's worried about getting recruited. He's getting recruited heavily by Georgetown. That's where he wants to go. He thinks he goes to Georgetown. He balls there, and he thinks he goes to the NBA, and. Um, and his coach is trying to help him mature and um, become the better player. He's already a great athlete, a great basketball player, but is he a, a great team player? And that's what's going to get him to the next level. That's what his coach is trying to tell him. But he's just so stuck up on how good he is, it's hard for him to see it. Right. Um, in comes a new character into the show, into the, into the story, uh, played by Leon, which his name is Tommy Shepard, who's like a legend basketball player in, the, in New York prior. But things happened to him to where he disappeared for some years and came back as a security guard at the same high school. And uh, uh, Leon did a great job, too. Leon. Uh, Leon, Leon. Leon. Leon's a, a slow killer, man. He always <laughs> comes in certain movies. People are like, ah, oh, yeah, Leon was that in that movie. Body of work. Leon got <laughs> Leon Come in, resume. man, with the smoothness, man. I mean, mm -hmm. there's some scenes where he was a little, man. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, we'll get to that. Yeah, yeah we get to but, that. But, and not to cut you off from, from the plot line, but like how many black how many black celebrities can have been able to get away with being just one name? Right. Leon. 
right? Mm -hmm. He's on the same like like Tupac, Prince, that's, yeah. Yeah. Tupac. But yeah. like even yeah. a, a pinch full, a pinch full of that's, niggas. Yeah. Like if you could give me a hundred thousand dollars to tell you what Leon's last name was, I, I couldn't tell you. I, I, no, I couldn't I tell either. you. Uh -huh. That's that's how that's how significant Leon is. Mm. What was Green? His name was Leon Green. Leon, <laughs> Leon Jackson. I, I thought it was LJ. Um, so LJ. He uh he basically uh Kyle Watson gets a homeboy that comes that comes out of jail, comes mm -hmm. back to the city. Um, and that's played by Marlon Wayne's. He Shout plays Bug. Marlon. Plays Bug. And now that Marlon Wayne's is back in his life, as is his homeboy he grew up with, he's like, bro, hey, check this out, man. I I, I introduce I want to introduce you to the big homie, Birdie. Played by Tupac. Tupac is the like the big drug dealer in the city, mm -hmm. and he was like, "I know who he is, but I, I ain't never met him before." But he came to my game the other day. Yeah, I told him to come to your game and check you out because I I want him to to pick you up to run with him at the at, at the shootout. Mm -hmm. Shootout is the neighborhood tournament, almost mm -hmm. like the Rucker. Right. And have, they they do it every summer or something like that, mm -hmm. and he wants to put you on the team. He should put you on the team so y'all go so y'all can win the championship and get that bread, whatever. Right. So Birdie is played by Tupac. He has his own team. And I guess you if you have the money and the fun the funds to to put your own team together and enter the tournament, you can do that. Mm -hmm. Kyle Watts initially was playing for his own coach, his high school coach, that they were gonna enter into the, yep. co the competition as well under his coach's team. And um Birdie wanted Birdie basically tried to steal him from his coach's team and have you have him play for his team. Small world in this situation because Birdie's older brother is Leon. Leon, you know Tommy Shepard, the <laughs> legendary guy that dipped off, that left years ago mm -hmm. and came back as um, you know this security guard of the high school. And Leon, uh, Tommy Shepard, and his brother Birdie don't have the greatest relationship. Brother Birdie is a big time gangster, criminal, killer, and Leon is a guy that left for his many reasons, or for one reason if anything, and came back. Uh, and his history in the movie is he had he was a basketball star mm -hmm. and had a homeboy his best friend it was his teammate and the most inexplicable <laughs> yeah. scene so it opens up history. it opens a up the film. movie opens up with uh two friends playing basketball on a roof yeah. yes what on a the roof fuck the in yes. new york in new york and they're playing on the roof and they're and Leon's character, Tommy Shepard, mm -hmm. is killing him. Like, he just dogging him. He can't, uh, Nutso is his name. Oh, my God. And it looks like they in a gym, for real. Look like they they in look gym. like they just in a gym, like they got brick walls. Listen, don't, everything, <laughs> don't look like a top of that. everything about this scene, <laughs> like, you have to, like, suspend reality <laughs> right. to continue to watch. Yes. <laughs> right? Like, yes. you know, yes. it's uh, like the biggest continuity error. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, it's almost like like not giving Frodo a ring. Yeah. Right? Like, yeah, yeah. they are clearly in like a four <laughs> walls gymnasium. <laughs> With the same windows. With the same, With the same window. windows. <laughs> but somehow, they want you to believe that he slaps the backboard. The backboard. Wait, <laughs> wait. So, if those who haven't seen this movie or haven't seen it in a long time, <clears throat> I'm sure y'all, if y'all haven't seen it, then you guys need to go watch it. It's dope. And if you have seen it, y'all remember the scene at the beginning where Nutso and, and Shep, which is Tommy Shepard, mm -hmm. they were they were competing against each other one on one basketball. Shepard's beating them. Shep is calling calling them all kind of weak. You mm -hmm. whack. You you have no game. And then they 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 bet a dollar. Yeah. They both put out a dollar mm -hmm. and bet to see who 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 can jump the highest on and hit the backboard, the highest part of the backboard. Yeah. And they were betting a dollar. So. Mm -hmm. Leon goes first. Tom Shepard goes first, and he hits high. He jumps up high on the backboard, and he's like, "How high can you get, Nutso?" That's his best friend's name, Nutso. Yeah. He's like, "How high can you get, Nutso? You can't jump as high as me." Basically, Nutso backs all the way up across the court, mm -hmm. and he runs. He does a long jump start. He does a long jump start. <laughs> long jump start. You know what I'm saying? And it takes off one foot. It takes off <laughs> and jumps high, one footed, to tap the backboard. Not only does he tap the backboard. But he, I guess he taps it so hard, he his hand goes through the backboard, yeah. Yeah. yeah, and he he jumps so high and so far, yeah, trying to beat Shep, that he jumps through a window. No, 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 no. no there's no window. There's no window. Continuity would tell you there's a window. There was a yes. window behind it. No, no, no it he was just a window flies, up he just, until that he point. He just flies off the roof. He just flies, flies off, off the roof. So, 
Okay. There's no glass or anything. Yeah, so before he jumps, there is a window. <laughs> yes. Everything from, from, that from happens the up behind until him that showing him jump and hit the back. Well, you yes. see a window in front yes. of him. Yes. You are 100% right. True. You guys are right, too. 100% right. You cut to him. It's, like, it's almost like he jumped. The window is not there anymore. There's no wall. There's no window. Not only yeah. Not only is did this happen, okay, there's no sound of glass. Yeah. There's no sound of glass. It's just him falling from this roof. Mm-hmm. And why you him, why is a basketball court a hoop in front of on the edge of a, a roof in New York mm-hmm. it, to begin with is the yeah. question. It 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 immediately makes me wonder. This is me getting like maybe like way too like psychological, mm-hmm. but like did Nutso ever exist? Like wow. is this all just like <sighs> Tommy's trauma? You yeah. know what I mean? <laughs> like, yeah, you know, right. that he's that he created this scene in his mind. And this is him dealing with his own like psychosis mm. because the circumstances in which Nutso dies at the beginning of the film make absolutely zero sense. Right. And so, and that basically the story I got a theory in, in the, the story implies <laughs> that that made him go into this deep depression. He was done. He was he done. done. He mm-hmm. quit playing basketball. Couldn't play. They had the, the, he was in the papers during that time that he was like the next. Jordan or the next whoever. Left the city. Yeah. He left the city left and the disappeared. City. Some folks thought he died. Yep. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Yeah. So it's him coming. This is him. The opening scene is him having this dream. Mm-hmm. Or this, this this flashback. This flashback. This dream of life. what happened to him back when he was in high yeah. school. And it changed him. So now he walks around quiet, <laughs> doesn't smile, doesn't do anything, but go to work and mm-hmm. eat at the same diner every night. And that's yeah. If he If he doesn't exist, though, like that makes this movie hilarious. Because he's talking to him the whole movie. That's what if 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 Nutso doesn't exist, it makes the movie make so much more sense, right? <laughs> like it makes the movie a comedy. Be, what it does. Because because think about it. Think about yeah. think about think about the like the clear uh, psychological episode that Tommy is dealing with the entire film. Yeah, right. right. This man literally balls. With no ball. Plays with no ball. Yeah, right. But he's he plays playing one on one by himself. He's playing that with an, with with an, with an invisible opponent. opponent. Right. He calls on the 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 this invisible opponent in regular conversation with people. Yeah. You hear that nut so? He says I owe him. Right. The man <laughs> says he owes me. Man says he owes, he owes me. me. Right. So right. so clearly the only thing that makes any sense is that like Shep. It's crazy, <laughs> right? He's but he's, but then again, one of his homeboys, yeah, is a homeless junkie. That's what I'm saying. That is a little schizophrenic as damn yeah. self. Be crazy, crazy. So I'm like, who? So, so it was a nigga named Flip that played basketball with Shep. Uh-huh. He ended up becoming a bum. Yeah, bum. Shep ended up being a rare nigga that dipped off and came back years later. Yep. Yeah. And then they best friend name was Nutso. Right. Mm-hmm. What type of high school team? Are they playing <laughs> That's what I'm saying. So, so, okay, okay. so can we, let's throw these out there. Uh, just just to put some 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 connections there. So if Nutso doesn't exist, mm-hmm. this is who I think Nutso is. I think Nutso is actually Birdie. Ooh. Nutso is Birdie. Remember when they were sitting there, they was looking at the kids playing. He mm-hmm. was like, I can never get that that finger that that backboard thing down. Mm-hmm. And then he took out the what's name. And it's put crazy what you pick mouth. up. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy, crazy things you do pick up. Yeah. yeah, interesting. You know what I'm saying? So he was saying. The, the whole point of the movie, which I think it's about Leon and it's about... Uh, 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 Is it Leon and Kyle Watson? Yeah, and, and mm-hmm. Kyle Watson. Their their relationship is like forefront of the movie. Mm-hmm. But then it's his relationship with this with this new young kid that's the, star, the same star that he was. And he's saying he can't take the pressure. So he couldn't take the pressure and he dipped. And the pressure was the fact that he had a little brother. He had to take care of his brother. Mm. And now he's getting recruited. All these things are going to happen. Interesting. And let's jump on that too. Whoa. I'm just saying. I yeah, I like that. And I'm going I'm 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 to rock Ooh. with you on that one. <laughs> because solid. one thing, this movie is a, this movie is star-studded. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Yeah. In the sense that you got Tupac in it and you got Will Harris. Harris. You know what I'm saying? You got Dwayne Martin. Mm-hmm. You got Leon. Mm-hmm. You got well, Marlon Wayans, who is bigger now than he was then, but right. still mm-hmm. he's a Wayans. You know what I'm saying? So, he's always great. Right, right, right. Marlon right. is always right. And low key, mm-hmm. low key, Mar- Marlon, in the movies he's been in, mm-hmm. even in his TV show, he's yeah. always done his job. He's fantastic. Yes. I, I, I dig, I dig Marlon yeah, for sure. Absolutely. And, um, but it's this movie is more than just like a basketball movie. It's about life. And we, one of the people I'm going to talk about 
is Birdie. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Birdie was a villain. He was a bad guy. But I rooted for Birdie, bro. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, Birdie was literally, and I, I don't. I wonder if they wrote this on purpose. I wouldn't be surprised if they did. He is the he is the epitome of a boy that grew into a man that wasn't loved. Yeah. Mm. That didn't have. He wanted to be loved by Leon by mm-hmm. Shep. Yeah, the first scene was him walking up to the funeral and uh, into the to the mor- uh, to the uh, grave site mm-hmm. when um, Shep was on the for his mom's birthday coming down and, and seeing his mom's gra- yeah. um, stone mm-hmm. headstone yeah. and him meeting him there and sitting down and sitting next to him and he hugged him the way a little brother would yep. hug yeah. his yep. big brother. Yeah, yep. you know what I'm saying. And explain what happened since you've been gone. Mm-hmm. Boom. And said, I did this. Yep. I took it. I, we didn't have no lights. We didn't have no food. We didn't have I nothing. Took care of that. Yeah. I was going to the store with food stamps. They laughed at me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Shep, they laughed at me, man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And, and there's a place for you. Mm-hmm. And there's a and, place and, for you. And Shep was like, you want me to work for you? And he was like, nah. nah. So we both of us. Nah. Yeah. I yeah. want you my brother, bro. Mm-hmm. We I, brothers, and man. I think he was only talking about basketball right yeah. there. Huh? I think he was only talking about basketball. Maybe I thought he was so. talking about the biz. Even the biz, like, there's, a, there's a place for you even, in my organization. Yeah, even if that was the uh-huh. case, mm-hmm. even if that was the case, he was. Like, you're not working for me. You're not. You're not Mo. Yeah, yeah. He wasn't gonna be Mo. He, gonna be he no was soldier. gonna be somebody else. Mm-hmm. Yeah. In the game, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It wasn't until he shitted on him. Yeah. yeah. When Shep, when Leon shitted on him, mm-hmm. he was okay. He responded the way any man was, or, or any young boy man yep. yeah, yeah. would respond. Well, fuck you then, nigga. Matter of fact, you you a whole ass nigga. Blah blah blah. You a joke. And yeah. even then. Still waited on him, waited yeah. on, on his route. Every, Showed up on his every, route like a little brother. Tag yep. Think about, think about what what somebody has to do to decide. I'm gonna get here before, before you. you. Yeah. Early. I've been watching you. I know your schedule. And just yeah. to, just to collide into you, right? And, you and even look. if I'm here to talk shit, but I just want to see you. The presence negative. And it wasn't. Or, he, he wasn't there to talk shit. No, he wasn't. It's just Shep was just so. Closed off, closed and off, numb and, to anything. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he just walked off. He yeah. was like, "Hey, man, what you doing? Like, yep. I'm talking. I'm your, I'm your bro. I'm your brother. Yeah. And you got like pay attention to the colors. Shep is always wearing dark, mm-hmm. and Tupac is always in like different bright colors, bright yeah. colors. And in that one, he was wearing green, yep. yeah, green and blue to be exact. Uh huh. That's yeah. like you know, you you look at you mm-hmm. tone. Look to see There's a reason what, what yeah, those tones are. How they how they how they cast more jolly little child. That's a little blue. Yeah. Like yeah. I want my brother. <laughs> Man. I mean, you know, in in the grand scheme of things, you know, like you know, he brings Kyle in. Bird, Bird he brings Kyle into the club, mm-hmm. recruits him just like any other Big Ten, ACC. You know, recruits him like any other drug dealer. Recruits him, but no, but, but not only that, agent there. He had an agent, <laughs> he had an agent at the party. But this, was, but this was the, the thought that I had actually like jotted down this note. Like, yes, it was in a club. Mm-hmm. But he showed them the same life that, like, oh yeah, like a you regular D one yeah, yeah, yeah. coach oh, would yeah, show yeah, yeah, yeah. You in the girls, I got For girls. Sure. Hey, bro, I'm you in the influence, I got a girl off beat hey, dancing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, and, and call her over. She right yeah. here, man. Call her over. Call her over. Here. Nah, man. No, no, call her. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that could, each, that could easily can. be Coach K. But well, man, maybe not Coach K, but an assistant. Facts. Right. Oh, and college, college recruitment. Yeah. The, the, the coach is not gonna say he, hey, mm-hmm. come here. Yeah. But Birdie was basically playing the upperclassman, the the the, the dude that was already on the team, mm-hmm. and he gonna be like, hey, come to this function with me. You a new recruit from right. high school, right? R J C, and then hey, you see old girl over there? Mm-hmm. I'll be right back. Yeah. Hey yep. man, on the college recruiting trips, you gonna get <laughs> popping? Yeah. <hey, laughs> there's girls there that's gonna be there yeah. to make you feel comfortable while you're on your trip. Yeah. Turn and you that's into a man. A, turn you into a man. If, yeah. <laughs> yep. So he he was. He was like, "Hey, what you want to drink?" He was like, "I take your orange juice. Get him an orange juice." He didn't yeah. even he didn't even say, "No, get him some Hennessy." Yeah, yeah. so get him get him what you want. Right, get him what you he want. He saw what he looked. He saw that girl. Oh, you that's what she want. That's yeah. what he wants. Yep. I'm gonna make sure that happens. Anything yeah. you want, I got for you. Yeah, well, what size she wear? Money. Remember, yeah, uh, the nine and a half. Yeah, oh, mm-hmm. uh, you know what I'm saying. Anything you wanted. He mm-hmm. he did. So that's why he said he did it. He, he he recruited them like any college scout would. Yeah, and, and so, he just happened to be a drug dealer. Yeah, and so mm-hmm. when you say that you were rooting for Birdie. I agree because there's actually nobody else like that you should root for in the film. Well, Leon's Leon is a he's Leon's a, he's not likable. He's yeah. a sulky, whiny asshole. Yeah, Kyle is a sulky, whiny asshole. Like there's nobody else that you could even care about well, in this you, film. You, Kyle Watson had a splash of good boy in him. When? Where? When 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 uh when Birdie was trying to offer him some bread and he was like, Man, I ain't trying to take your money. Come on, man. 
You know what I'm saying? I would, he I didn't, would even and say, he just mm-hmm. wanted to hope. Yeah. He didn't like and Birdie wasn't trying to recruit him to be yeah. a soldier. Yeah. He wanted him to be a, a a point guard on his basketball team. And he was cool with that. Yeah. But he was like, I kind of already told my coach that I'm gonna run with him. I I, I yeah. he did circle back he circled, from flip. He's a good kid. Even, even, before, even before he circled back for flip, he wasn't trying to do what flip was trying to do. Yeah. He was like, I ain't trying to do all that. He was like, nah, watch out, flip. Yeah. He was like, nah, flip took the ball from and, him. And, and, and then and Marlon and then Marlon egged him on. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, but all I'm saying is, is that like as we watch the character evolve through mm-hmm. the film, mm-hmm. he's an asshole as a character. On the, in basketball, when we start. I felt like he was an asshole only on the court, mm-hmm. and, and I seen those niggas. I seen those type of right. dudes that when they get so competitive, they forget about their teammates. And, and, and so, he, and he's and he's being raised by a single mother, so yeah. it's him and his mom. Yeah. Right? So he has to be an asshole when it comes to his and, mom. Mm-hmm. And that's yeah. why I was rooting for him. I rooted for and his mom. His mom was yeah. was a, was a, was a real. Think about it like this: he's a he doesn't have a father. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So anytime I see that, not saying this. When I see a young boy in high school that doesn't have a father, I'm already like, damn, he's already, he's already, the odds are against him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. He was bitter. He was angry. He was angry that his mom wasn't always available. Remember when his mom was like, I thought he was going to the movies. Mom, mm-hmm. I got to work. You want to go by yourself. Right. Yeah. And right. then he sees her out having dinner with, with Shep. Leon. Then they went to the movies. Then everything. they went to the movies. Yeah. So, so, he's, so he's, he's looking for some type of, and but, but well, he has a mm-hmm. father figure in his coach, but he's not listening. Yeah, mm-hmm. he's not listening. He, even even his you know, so, so I I rooted for him. I think he was a seventeen year old boy. He wasn't doing drugs. He right. wasn't trying to do no street Just shit. Just trying to hoop. He was trying to hoop. Just I, trying to hoop. He's the typical and he got spoiled, some shit. spoiled with not yeah. the best guidance. Yeah, yeah. he's the, he. I think he's a, a product of his environment. Even and he still wasn't doing no street shit. Right, right. You right. Know what I mean. And then Bird came and got him. You know Bird, I mean? like, and he yeah. was just trying to And move. even then, he wasn't. Yeah. He was never doing nothing dirty. I can yeah. see if he had handed him some money, he was like, oh, yeah. man, this is for me, man? Yeah. His motive came from, man. If you rock with me, well, I, hell yeah, I got you then. And you got to remember what he said. He said, everything cost in here. Yeah. He didn't know Great what that meant. I mean, he, he said it with a smile on his face. Yeah, everything Tupac, cost in here. Tupac, underrated. Line. We all know that Tupac was... Tupac would be acting right now mm-hmm. as a monster or something. He his was, acting would be arguably more important than his music right now. Facts. Big facts. He was getting there. Yeah. I, oh, he, well, he was getting there. I think, I, he as was far as like, he, I mean, he was 24, yeah, 23, like, he 25. Was to, think like, about how, how young yeah. that was. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and obviously, like, you know, he showed incredible range. You know what I mean? Yeah. But there, there's, there's just a realness to his portrayals, mm-hmm. you know, that I think yeah. that that was good. And I think as an actor, I think Tupac anchors the film. Uh-huh. You know Boom. what I mean? Like, he anchors the film. He's the emotion. He's, he's the, the emotion yeah. of it. Um, he's the weird anti-hero. Uh-huh. Right? Like, you know, we're, 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 we're kind of rocking with him. Um, even the villainous shit that he does, like, doesn't seem to overshadow the mm-hmm. fact that, like, we even understand where his circumstance is. Mm-hmm. Like, well, like, he, like that conversation that he has with with Shep at the beginning mm-hmm. basically yeah. frames like I'm this way because I had to be. Right, 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 right. And I I'm didn't st- run away, and from I'm it. still yeah. here. Mm-hmm. Right, like yeah. you know. So I'm living. So you you immediately understand Bird's motivations throughout the film. Right, a character He's, you can understand is a character you can empathize with. Right. Boom, and you just said it. Um, me and my wife had this time, not an argument, like a debate mm-hmm. about whether this is a bar or not. And it was a bar. He said, Birdie said to Shep, he said, I might not be, I might not be the man. I might not, I might not be the man you expected me to be, mm-hmm. but I'm still a man. Yep. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, you know, he said, you might not like the man I've become, yes. but I'm still a man. Right. Yeah. And, and hence I'm a product of my environment. You know what I'm saying? You left. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And if you was in high school, how young was Birdie? Right. And, and his, he his, 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 all mom yeah. could do was all she would do is just moan out, Shep, Shep, mm-hmm. oh Shep. Yeah. Like she, when you left, she left too, bro. Right. right. And I held it down. She's right. you. You know what I'm saying? Which, <laughs> yeah. which is an indictment, in, uh, like a double indictment on Shep. Mm-hmm. Right. Right. Yeah. Like, like you can't pass judgment on me mm-hmm. because you, you was nowhere to be found. Right. So when he said, hey, man, he was like, you could be with me, man. We could do this together. We brothers. He was like, we could be That's partners. all little bro He was love. like, you think I'm going to do this stupid shit? Yeah. Yeah. He was like, stupid, nigga. You, like, got, you got no <laughs> grounds. You have to, you, you. Yeah. I could have been. Mm-hmm. This took you care You could have took us out the hood. Yeah. This took care of your responsibilities. Yeah. yeah. Now, I didn't have basketball to do. Mm-hmm. Like he said, I never got that right. And he pulled the blade mm-hmm. out of his mouth. 
you'd be, you'd be surprised what you pick up. But he never got that right because his brother wasn't there to teach him. Right. If anything, and continue you know to push him in that direction. Right. Yeah. He could have been a coach. He could have been anything. He's right. definitely a motivator. And that's why this <laughs> that's why this movie oddly works. Right? Mm-hmm. It oddly works mm-hmm. because um where things need to be believable, mm-hmm. they are. Right. Yeah. Despite the inexplicable. Yeah. Right? Like, like the damn the 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 the, the nutso situation. Yeah. I said, Come on, man. Who, why, why, who wrote that? <laughs> yeah. Who said, okay, in the stunt, uh-huh. we're going to have him break through the backboard and fall off the roof. Yeah. But what we needed to get from that, regardless of the execution, mm-hmm. Shep is dealing with trauma. Right. 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 We needed to get that. Mm-hmm. That trauma leads to him leaving, which creates Bird. Mm-hmm. Right. We need that. Right. Yes. Now we've got like Kyle's situation. Baller in need of direction, mm-hmm. and you got an opportunity. You got a fork in the road. Mm-hmm. You got the birdie fork, mm-hmm. right? Like you know, and then you have the the Shep, the Leon, right? Mm-hmm. And it's an interesting thing because that could have been Mota. It could have been Wood Harris. Yeah, Wood Harris could have been exactly where Kyle was, minus a couple of years. Right. Mm-hmm. Except there was no right. No, no chef, no chef to help no him. There was only right. a bird. Hey, because bird, hey, Mo him. was nice too. Mo was nice. Mo was. Yeah. I mean, literally, when we when we get to 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 Boogs, Boogs was telling right Mo, you just worried he gonna take your spot. Yeah. Right. My boy Kyle is nice. Nice. You think you're gonna be on the bench because he gonna take your spot. Yeah. Right. So obviously there's a competitive right. basketball nature yeah. there. Yeah. Mo Ta is just he's just a, a dual character. Not yeah. only is he a hooper. He's, he's, a, he's a killer. He's, he's a soldier. Killer. Yeah, he's a super soldier. Right. I just I just wish they would have did more with some of these like these I don't know these sub kind of plots sub plots yeah. because it's it's you can't do a lot because it's it's only it's an hour hour and a half movie mm-hmm. thirty minutes right but it's like it's so deep they're so heavy the characters like, the, that's you're, why you're dealing with. Grief, you're dealing with depression. It's more, yeah. You're dealing with trauma. Trauma. Mm-hmm. You're dealing with uh single parent homes. You're dealing mm-hmm. with uh just all these blocks. It's mm-hmm. like like you said, there's, there's a plenty of forks yep. there yeah. that they yep. that everybody has to kind of get around. I think it's dope that they who that they wrote this movie and surrounded it around baseball. I mean basketball. Mm-hmm. Like it's not a basketball film. Yeah. It's not, it's about life, it's about family, mm-hmm. it's about trauma, it's about Mm-hmm. You know, uh, letting go of your past, and you could tell in the dialogue in certain situations, like the scene where moms, mm-hmm. you know, uh, Mrs. Malika Watson, the yeah. mom, was on the date with uh, with um, Leon. That was a great moment great. because he he was smiling. It yeah. showed that at least somebody makes him smile. Yes, you know what I'm saying. And uh, I don't know if that's because that was a, a whole mom son thing or a whole like. Uh, it ain't, they, 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 but, they never smashed, so it's not yeah. like he was getting buns. I mean, he was, he was about to. Yeah, but, I mean, yeah, yeah. definitely. Oh, yeah, yeah. Happen. Hey, 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 who knows? He might already smash. We don't know. Security <laughs> guards be getting it. Oh, yeah, security <laughs> guards. Yeah, hey, security <laughs> guards. <laughs> yeah, hey, security, security guards be, be cleaning yeah. up. They, yeah. they be doing their thing. They, they are the niggas that keep <laughs> these mm-hmm. women's kids safe. Yep. Yep. Yes. Thank you so much for protecting yeah. my children. I got you. I'll come by and say. They be cleaning up. Yeah. So he smashed us. So basically, he smashed. It's the Knight Rider theory. Yeah. Mm. If you watch the first season of Knight Rider, he was always around single mothers uh-huh. or people that had kids, like sisters that had little brothers. Mm-hmm. He was like, "Yeah, they was let me protect y'all." Now you know he's smashing a, and he gone. A security, no a high school security guard is cleaning up on the moms. Cleaning up, yeah. Damn, yeah. You knew Leon smashed. He, he smashed. He when, smashed. when Leon came out the movie theater and still had the bucket of popcorn, yeah, I was like, oh yeah, yeah. 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 And, he, and he was singing to yeah. her. He went from yeah. soaking yeah. the whole film he went to, to singing. And he went to hooping by himself. Who is, oh, he the, deep boys. Who yeah. is yeah. the man? Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> she said something to him. She said, um, "You either people get hung up on the things that happen to them, mm-hmm. or they get over them." Yeah, right. You know, and. That's not a ba- this is a basketball film, but it's not. It's yeah. really about yeah, like yeah. kind of like showing like putting nuggets of wisdom in these right. those in these dialogues when, so people yeah. can watch him like damn. When she when when the mom called him a runner, yeah, nigga, she said you're a runner, you're a runner. And she Sad. said and she then she said to him he was like well you don't ever think about just escaping even in your mind. She no. said no. I know what I'm here for. I'm yep. here for my son. Yep. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to make him be a better person. Boom. Yep. And that's reality. Like you can't just run from your problems. You yep. left a little brother. Now yeah. he's the biggest game banger. It's full circle. Yeah. It's full circle. So you left your brother when you were in high school. You mm-hmm. were about 18 years old. Your brother probably was 12, 13. Mm-hmm. Right? You left him and 
you can say he's not my son, it's not my responsibility, but in your in the family dynamic, you were his responsibility. Yeah. He was your you're supposed to take care of your little brothers and yep. sisters. Yep. That's and, what I'm saying. And I will put this out there. It's unfair. Yes, it's unfair. Yeah. Your dad's not there. Right. You know what I'm saying? Your mom's doing whatever she's doing. She's trying her hardest, but it's like it's unfair. But Imagine, you have to suck that up. You got to. That's life. Imagine being Birdie. Your dad's never been there, mm -hmm. and your brother dips. Yeah, this is the and your mom that we dips. See. Basically, your mom her soul leaves because now she's mourning her your your your, your, your uh, yeah. brother. What type of kid grew up? He he, he was destined to grow up and be yeah. a bad motherfucker. That's what made you know it such a good. That's what made Tupac's portrayal such a great way. Like the, that that conversation that that Birdie has with Shep. Yeah, and Bert was talking about how like Mom was always waiting on you to come back, save us. Like you was gonna save us. I like when he told him. He said, uh, "He was like, your family is isn't always something that you just born into. You just like." I'm just your family because you were born into me, but you're not my family no more. And he even said that. He, he said yeah. that. Yeah. He was it like, was, when he was when he was wearing the green. He bounced Dwayne, off on And also when Dwayne was like, is, is, is Shep your brother? Is it true? He was like, he used to be. Yeah. He said, what does that mean? Is it true? He was like, man, family, he said, uh, the nigga was just born to the family, yeah. bro. Right. Family is not just being blood related. It's how you feel, how exactly. you treat that person. So what's interesting is, is that. And that's a new wound. Is this movie. Man. Really, the story of Shepard. That's what I'm saying. It was, As opposed, it's both like of them. it's not the Kyle, it's Shepard it's and Birdie. The, it's, it's not both the of them. This movie, if you if you cut the trailer different. Yeah, this movie this is the Shep Birdie Tupac story with Leon yeah. co-starring. Yep. Yeah. And oh, oh yeah, and, and Dwayne Martin would be the young brother in the hood that you yep. did that. That's uh -huh. he's the little saint basically. Yeah. Yeah. And honestly speaking, like Dwayne Martin had a mom. They had a decent house. Mm -hmm. Like his mom loved him, mm -hmm. and he was a good kid. Went to a good school. He's a better movie. Mm -hmm. He really didn't have no. He had no issues. They had no problem. He had no issue. He was just arrogant on yeah. the squad. Just, just spread his fingers. Yeah, yeah. spread his fingers. And, 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 and snap his and wrist. Snap his wrist. That was his biggest problem. problem. How, many, how many times did you see this movie and then you go outside and, and spread, spread your, your fingers? fingers. Like, wow. yeah. That don't bro. even work like that. Yeah. All he had to do <laughs> spread his fingers. All you got to do is snap your wrist. You not be shooting team. the ball like this. You was already like that. You was already nice. The the the, the recruit was there <laughs> every week, bro. Yeah. All you had to do, he and you, he, he didn't. He said he didn't say one word to me. He ain't supposed to. Yeah, yeah. He's trying to get you to Georgetown. If he keep, if he start if he start talking to you now, that's in violation. And that's that's the one bad thing that that, that they were trying to make us turn on mm -hmm. him was when he said, "I won't tell if you won't." Yeah. And then Georgetown he said, it "Don't work that way, yeah. son." He's and he walked off. I like yeah. that. He's stupid. Yeah. He, he's stupid. And he don't have, he doesn't have any guidance and he's not listening to his coach. His mm -hmm. coach is saying, man, you're great, man. Just use your team. That's going to get you to Georgetown. I, I, okay. This might be changing. To no, no, no. Say what you, no, what no, no. You got, you, obviously. <laughs> I want to know whose idea was it for him to play with no basketball? Like he can still play a game with Nutso without the basketball. Mm -hmm. We got well, to believe yeah, this foolish. He said, is. "Yeah, him playing with." A, I think if he's talking to Nutso, who's not there, <laughs> yeah. he should be playing with a basketball that's not there too. Yeah, I think it goes along with him. Okay, you know what I'm saying playing. Against but the basketball Nutso. is a ghost, just like the the nigga Facts. he's playing. Amen. Well, it's, it's 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 interesting. <laughs> like, yeah, that's such a great point. What is it? And 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 we could. <laughs> they don't want him to. Touch, he doesn't want to touch the ball. Yeah, he doesn't exactly. Okay. That's what That's I was why he never okay. played. But I was trying to bring in into, in, into nah, the he mix. Played, I'm he so played against you, what's you, name? You said he that played against the, in in the closer to the end. Yeah. He, that's, didn't, that's, he didn't that's want the, to play until he had something side. to play for. That's kind of like the like just before the dark side of the mm -hmm. uh, of the I forget what the, what it's called. Yeah. But um when he goes and he plays when he plays Kyle mm -hmm. for the first time. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's the first time he touched the ball. First time he touched And that's the first time he actually stepped up to be the man that he was supposed to be. Right. Yeah. Bro, I love that. I love that. And let's talk about how nice Shep was. Cold. Okay? Let me tell you how nice Shep was. Just in corduroys. Keep going. In corduroys. Not only in corduroys. <laughs> in a long sleeve crew. In man. a Henley. In a Henley. <laughs> <laughs> it was in corduroys and a Henley. No warm up. And a no jersey. Ain't played basketball in 10 years. Yeah. With a JC Penny belt on. With the with uh, with the mid range jumper, the yeah. mid range is <laughs> sweet. It's the hard oh, he's, he's behind the arc. His he's mid the arc. No, he was behind the arc, but he was hitting so many mid range yeah. jumpers. Yeah, mm -hmm. mid range coming right. off, coming off, yeah. catching pow. And, and it shows you just how good 
He was. And just when you thought that's all he had, mm -hmm. he starts driving and banging. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Baby, me. Corduroy. Yeah. Yeah. Corduroy. <laughs> and a Henley. Uh -huh. And a Henley. <laughs> and a Henley. All, Probably. Hey, off the yes. street, all out the taxi. Straight out. In some Elise. I didn't like, even. In some Elise. Yeah. <laughs> hey, he yes. Didn't, he didn't. In some Elise. This is hilarious. Yeah. Yeah. He didn't even take off his corduroys and had some shorts no. under. No. He no. kept the Henley on, no. put the jersey over the Henley. He didn't bro. even want yes. the jersey. He didn't he even want the jersey. He just checked in and walked in. He just walked like, in. <laughs> he got to have gotta, a jersey. <laughs> oh, he has one now. <laughs> you got to have. You gotta have one of these, bro. You gotta. Hey, Shep. So, so basically, <laughs> oh, yeah, there's no these... chance. <laughs> there's no chance that Shep didn't doesn't go to the league had he stayed in high school. No chance. Wins. No, no chance. He, he's he's there. No, no chance. chance. He, he's a hundred percent in the league for sure. Yeah. I think they was probably smoking weed on the roof. Like I like hey. I think I think that's what makes it. I think that's what makes it from a tragic accident uh -huh. to something that he had to run away from negligence. Right? No, you know it, I mean? it, has like, to, it has to be. It has to be Sherm. They even actually mentioned Sherm. Sherm, maybe like, Sherm. Like, like, he had to, like, they, like they had to be up on the I roof. Sherm make you stronger than normal. Yeah, that's why he jumped so high. Now your shit is coming up. Birdie even said, <laughs> "Yo, dope head ass, huh?" Yeah. Oh my bad, my bad, damn. <laughs> So I, so, I, I, so, so, I, so I see. Sherm yeah, makes so. Tables on Sherm does make you strong. <laughs> it does be, because your, your, your pain tolerance goes yes. much higher. Yeah. You know what and and, that's you, why, and you jump longer. That's and why farther. you go through the backboard, Board, boom. through the wall. Yeah, through yeah. the wall that you're supposed to be glass, but it wasn't glass. Yeah. And it's a, so the, we hallucinated too. So maybe we had the germ when we yeah, watched the show. That's what happened. We watched that scene. That he sense. thought we saw a glass window. We didn't. That makes sense. Which, I did which go goes jog back into your shit. With all my clothes. Which is that Bar that Bernie Mac is actually nuts so. Ooh. No, I didn't say Bernie Mac was not so. He didn't say that. But oh, I thought that was your theory. But you just thought Bernie. said Bernie. Yeah. Flip. That's crazy. That flip. Flip. That's crazy. Hey. No, but oh, shit. Saying, no. Now the whole he movie. Said, they can't the erase whole movie who is a we metaphor were. for drug yes. abuse. Yo, Shep, they can't erase who we were, man. Yes. Because I... Damn. Yeah, no matter how oh, much... Oh, my God. No matter how much so, time I smoke. So listen, so the opening scene is about the first time of them getting high. Damn. Right? Boom. The opening scene is about the first time they the get high. The whole team was on just the was slapping junkies, the, my nigga. The slapping the glass was the first time that Flip okay. injected. Yeah. Okay. He fell off the roof. Everything yeah. fell off. Yeah. That's why they can never forget what we was. Shet went to rehab. He Shet, dipped. Ah. He dipped. He went to rehab. He went uh -huh. to rehab. And hey. now, and what's the name? And and also, uh, uh, Bugs. Mm -hmm. He was on Charm too. Because remember when he came to, to the, yeah. oh, I'm going to be on the team. Yeah. And he yeah. was putting all the chalk and everything. Yeah. That's, that's, that's base move. hip swag. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He was like, swag. this is going to be you guys. Right. This ironically makes a, a, a really good movie greater. Like, yeah. like, mm -hmm. like, cause at least like if it's, if it's anchored, if the movie's anchored around drug abuse mm -hmm. and rehab and yeah. redemption, Sherm, it makes especially. so much more sense. <laughs> yeah. Sherm especially. There's so many lessons to learn. <laughs> it makes so I, much I more like, sense. I feel like this Above the Rim gave everybody a character to be able to relate to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, you got the D-boy. Mm -hmm. You got mm -hmm. the, that's that's Birdie's character. Yep. That's the drug dealer dude. Mm -hmm. And so kind of, it, it helps you understand why he became that drug dealer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you got Shep, who was the has-been that could have been, and now he's d d depressed and all that. Of what Still he cold, do. though. Still yeah. cold as Still hell. Cold. But it's, it's it's equivalent to a person that has all the ability in the world but thinks they don't have any. Right? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He's like, I'm not a leader. I'm not a coach, coach. <clears throat> right. I'm not a coach. Yeah. Like, yes, you got to be this job. Bro. Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because he sees he saw, because Willis, the mm -hmm. coach, no, uh, Higgins. Yep. Yeah. Hollins, I'm sorry. Coach Hollins saw all the, all the, all the, um, all the specialness mm -hmm. in uh, mm -hmm. in uh, Shep, and he just hit it himself. And right. like, can we say this? Too? The man was such a good coach. He was one of them old coaches yeah. that'd be like, just suck on the quarter. Yeah. And he'd be like, suck on the quarter? What's How's that going to make me cut mm -hmm. better? Mm -hmm. You suck on the quarter, you out there, bow, bow. <laughs> like, literally, he's sitting there, he was like, snap your wrist, bro. Yeah. He was a, <laughs> right. He did a good job of that. They did a good job of whenever... And maybe this is a testament to, to Leon's performance as an actor. But whenever he was watching basketball, mm -hmm. it's almost like, you know, like that uh, that A Beautiful Mind meme where it shows all the like yeah. the different. You could tell that like he was watching the game Something is, from a superior yeah. level. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like even from like the one on ones, yeah. you know what I mean? On the blacktop to the game, you could tell that like 
I don't know if it was like an arrogance or just an awareness, mm-hmm. but like you could be like, he knows what he's looking at. Right. When did this, when did this movie came out? 94. 94. Yeah. This is right right when Michael Jordan retired, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Heard, yeah. No, no, no. This, no, no. no, no this, this, is, this is right when he's about to go on his epic run. No, nah, he retired for two years. He was yeah, but he didn't. But years. he didn't retire. I was like, it was after ninety four. He 94. won three or two before he retired. Two, three, three. Yeah, yeah. Three and, and, and the run starts in the, 91. 90, Okay, let's see. Let ninety one, ninety two, ninety three, and then ninety four. He's gone. There it is. Shep is really Michael Jordan. Oh, damn! I didn't know in you were doing that. In basketball, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Doing a lot. Mm-hmm. You know, championships. Mm-hmm. They won 91, 92, 93. I'm telling you, this man is right. He then he dips and comes Kenevin back in '96. He's sitting Kenevin. outside. He's sitting outside of the game, watching the game. Like came back. Look at you guys. What Corduroys you guys and Henleys. You know what I'm saying? Remember, that's what, that's and Michael, that's and Michael what, Jordan do be dressing like that. White that's socks. What, that's what number forty five mm. was. The Corduroys. Mm. Yeah. Ugly. It's an ugly uh. number. Nobody wants to wear this. Dang. Nicely done, my friend. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> only only people that wear forty five are fullbacks. Mm-hmm. That's, that's it. it. Nicely linebackers. done, my friend. Mm-hmm. Fullbacks and linebackers. That's it. Let's go to some of the awards. Right. Any any anything else on the on the oh, breakdown? Yeah, there, there is. Let's talk about Flip a little bit. Shout out to uh, Bernie Mac. Bernie Rest Matt. in peace. Yes. R.I.P. Um, he did a great job always, and he was the toughest, most. He's the toughest uh, base hit I've ever seen. Yes, um, and he wasn't no ho. He was hilarious, and they could say, "Woo!" <laughs> <laughs> and he walked off after after he lost. He didn't, yeah. give, he, he, didn't, he didn't give him his bunks. Yeah, he walked off on him. And even in even in, in him about to die. Yeah, after after Mo put Motal put the gun to his face. And he was listen. Then he put that gun away. He went back to talking shit. <laughs> right said, back. Oh yeah, right back to talking shit. Flip. He called him a he called him a turtle head motherfucker. Yeah, listen. turtle head motherfucker. No pickle head. Pickle head. Yeah. Pickle pickle Flip head. said the coldest shit I think I've ever heard in a movie. You a pussy. Without the hair. Without the yeah. hair. He's like, I'll lick, I, he's like, I'll lick you right in the yeah. mouth. I'll lick you right in the mouth. I know. I'll, I'll kiss you, you in right your, your hot mouth, 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 nigga. I'll lick you right in your hot mouth. Because the pussy, that's all Flip. pussy is. What that's all pussy doing, is. Bro? That's all pussy is, a hot mouth. Listen. Ooh, a hot mouth. <laughs> if someone said, if someone said, Tone, you a pussy, I'd be like, whatever, fuck you, man. You a pussy without the hair. God, that's a different without level. But then he said, I'll lick you in your Then he said, I'll lick you in your hot mouth. Damn, Jan. Oh. You ain't a man to me. Flip. Right. Flip. <laughs> he said, Thomas, he said, Shep, mm-hmm. I thought you died. Yeah. Damn, that was his homeboy. And I forgot, when I first watched it back in the day, I forgot they were teammates. Mm-hmm. I forgot that mm-hmm. Shep and Flip were teammates in high school. That means Shep, Flip, and Nutso mm-hmm. were, hot, were all teammates. Unless Nutso, Unless and, Nutso Flip. and Flip are the same people. Mm-hmm. Better film in my estimation. Boom. Better film. Hey, yeah. it's a better film if the main character was uh was Shep. Even though I you think low he was. Key physical, you low key can say that because the movie mm-hmm. opened up with yeah. a dream and him waking up out of his dream. Yeah, yeah. he's the first person we yeah. see. So and, hey. I think, and I also, think the movie is definitely the Shep story. Yeah. And it's and like it, who it's changes like, the most too? He does. Yeah. The, 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 the protagonist usually has to go through mm-hmm. a metamorphosis yeah. in the film. Yeah. And, and he, I think that he goes through the biggest one. He had the most to change. Boom. He had to really change his ethic to become who he was at the end of the movie. Mm-hmm. And the only thing that, like, and again, now I'm like, like nitpicking. All right? Kyle like, had to do you know, pass. Um, right. Is that I don't right. necessarily know if he gave enough fucks about Kyle or Kyle's mom. He's trying to get oh, the he loved, change. He loved his mom. Though. You think so? Nah, I think was, the mom was. That's he was. She, that's then I would have wanted up, to see smiled. more of that on film. Right? I think we True. saw enough, though. True. You think so? I think we saw enough because he was sitting there. The, the first time he saw her, he was like dazed. And then she touched his shoulder. He smiled. The, and then he was, he was like, oh. Yeah. And then he stood up. And so he was here's, like, what, here's what would have done that to me. I understand mm-hmm. your point. Mm-hmm. I challenge it and beg to differ. Okay. But I understand where you're going. Okay. The one scene that's missing is the scene where Shep explains to the mom who he is or what he's been through. To me, that's the bridge to help understand... Shep's metamorphosis, right? Mm-hmm. Like, you know, like even after that, like you're a runner. Mm-hmm. If there was a conversation where he's waiting in front of her in front of the hospital mm-hmm. and goes, You're right, my whole life. You're right. Ever since my that, boy Nutso fell off and yeah. I ran because I couldn't handle it. But between you and Kyle and my brother and getting back in the city, I want to do something different. To me, that's the bridge to be like, Now I understand that why happened. he gives enough shit about Kyle. I would say that happened. When did when, that happen? Though? 
I feel like that happened when he talked to her the first time. And then when he doubled back after he walked out on Kyle to come and talk to her. And she took that moment to go, no. Like, I get, like one, he ain't that, here. You that can't moment, talk he's to saying him. that He's saying that that scene happened. Mm-hmm. It's just a, she led the scene. <clears throat> right. Yeah, she he led, led the scene explaining himself. He tried She led to. the scene. Yeah. And she explained who he was to her. Yeah. Right? How I view you. Yeah. You're a runner. If we're talking about, I, I agree. I agree with what, what yeah, everybody's yeah. saying. But if we're talking about Shep's story right. being the, the, the through line, right, right. I feel like there needs to be a little bit more muscle. Really? But 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 to help really drive home mm-hmm. why. Like why? Like like even with even with, with Shep and Kyle, mm-hmm. aside from like the one on one, what else do we have that he that he really gives a fuck about he Kyle? Took a bullet for him. Well, that's, I'm talking about at the end. end. So why would why would he do? Why that? would he get out the taxi? Why would he? Well, the, the, why, I'm gonna say why would Shep get out the taxi? The, the coach was breaking it down to him. Was like, man, he said you, you owe you. it to that kid, right? He was like, you owe it to him because he was just like you. Mm-hmm. If anything, so 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 he doesn't turn into you. You have the opportunity to help a All kid. I'm saying is and that she on said screen, it, and she said it to him too when he came on to the screen. Door. It just feels a little like no. You can't. She even said it. She's like, no, we don't want that. We don't want that from me. We don't need that from you. And you can't come talk to me. Because my priority is my son. Mm-hmm. And, and you walked, walked out, out on, on my, my son. son. Yeah. Yeah. So he tried, he reverted back yeah. to his old ways. And it was like, no, okay, now what are you gonna do? Right. And it's not about true. it's Without, not about the, the words. Mm-hmm. It's really about the action. That's the best thing we can actually get from that is when you can say whatever you're gonna say, but if you don't act and do something mm-hmm. about it. So yeah. Well, I agree. It's solid. The, the the conversations he was having with the coach a couple of times throughout mm-hmm. the movie, all the things you said we wanted to see, you wanted to see that in the scene for with him. Just, yeah. yeah, but yeah, though he yeah. he was moping most of the scenes. Yeah. And he didn't have a lot of dialogue. Right. But the people around him was saying, "Man, you gotta you gotta yeah. step up and step do up st- it. even his brother." Yeah. Mm-hmm. Indirectly was saying, bro, you got you talking yeah. about you, say, you might not yeah. like the man I become, but I'm still a man. What are you? Who do you care about? What's important to you? You say you're walking around here like a bum. Yeah. Yeah. I can connect the dots the mm-hmm. way that they were constructed on, but on, you, on, on yeah. the screen. Yeah. But I do feel one scene. Yeah. Like yeah. one additional scene could have really galvanized it for me. Hey, yeah. and one thing. I'm tripping off of him not smashing the little light skinned waitress, man, the little red bone chick. She offered him she the was, buns. She, she offered him, she for offered real. him she, the buns. She, and she, she was had so some confused. Cake, and she had some yams on her, too. Yeah, she, she, she was, was so like, confused. I just want to come cook for you. You yeah. come here every night and you order the same little diner she was food. So yeah. confused. I'll make you some food yeah. Yeah. And, and slide on you real quick. And he he asked mm-hmm. her for some water. Give me some water. Yeah. Oh, I just man, you smashed her. I, and feel then, like, I feel like she was too thirsty. She was definitely I agree. Thirsty. I agree, but man. Because she sat down. She, she sat, sat down. down. Like in. I'm, I'm sitting over here enjoying my uh, yeah. water and coffee. Slid in, and you just gonna sit down in front of me. Yeah. Why so you saying? So you saying if a chick, that and, well, she, I mean, she wasn't bad looking, but she was older, you know. Yeah. Oh no, she could have got it though. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. I'm that left eye though was bothering me. Hey, she, she, she was a little lazy. <laughs> yeah. On the left, she yeah. was a little lazy on it the was, left. It was closed a little <laughs> but, bit more. This eye was all the way open. But she, <laughs> like she was looking behind him with this one, but like looking at him. She had a little Whitaker in there. Yeah. Um, she but, recognized yeah, crazy. Little, she crazy little, recognized yeah, crazy. Yeah, a little Whitaker in there. She <laughs> splash a Whitaker in there, but she had some frame on her. She they had, had backstory. They was both at Bellevue. Yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> Man. They was both at Bellevue. He <laughs> they didn't know that they already knew each other. She that, was going to cook him a rat sandwich. Yeah. And he knew. A rat sandwich. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. yeah. Fried so sauteed. Funny. So funny. Sauteed rat. Yeah. Sauteed rat. And, and that's why I think, like, the on the side. good movie. Just a couple of little pieces, like like for example, going back to what D was saying, like if we like the first time he touched the ball, right? Mm-hmm. What you guys are calling out the first time that we see Shep touch the ball is the first time he plays one on one. If there had been a little scene or dialogue, I ain't touched the ball. Even if you told the coach, I ain't mm-hmm. touched the ball. I haven't touched the ball in twenty years. Right? Mm-hmm. Him touching the ball mm-hmm. on that one on one that has so much more significance. Yeah. Right, like you know, because it's like now as the audience, we know now the the, the shadow balling that he's doing makes a little bit more sense. I think the shadow balling explains yeah. that he doesn't touch the ball in so long. Yeah. Again, I see the dots that, they're trying, it's, it's I the dots that they're trying yeah. to connect. I get the dots that they're trying to connect. I like totally get it, mm-hmm. but I do think that like putting that in there is the difference between like it just to me it. it it ups the storytelling. Right. This movie doesn't ask the audience to be that smart. 
Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. Like, you know, they're not asking, they're not, they're not expecting us to know that the shadow boxing and him touching the ball. I don't think they expect the audience to be able to build that bridge, even though we do. I did. Right? Yeah. We understand. I did, I, yeah. I did, right? But I do think that like with just a little bit more effort, you could have you could have done that mm-hmm. and it wouldn't have taken away from anything else in the film. Right? Like there are other scenes you could have lost to really drive that that part of the story home. Yeah. That's all. You know what I mean? Like, you know, I just hate. just mm-hmm. nitpicking because it's it's good story, good premise. Mm-hmm. Um You've already asked us to believe that a nigga could fall off the roof. Yeah. <laughs> like, so. Yeah. Just about so, hitting the backboard. Right yeah. off the bat. He could break so, the backboard. So, yeah. you know, lay out a couple we, of, we of already, drills. But we did already. I will say we this. We that with yeah. Sherm. So. I, definitely about Sherm. Sherm. I think the writers were on Sherm, too, bro. <laughs> I'm going to say, if I came across the writers, I would say, explain to me why you put, out of all the movies, I have never, all the basketball movies, I've never seen someone break a wooden basketball. No. A, a wooden basketball. It wasn't even wooden. Like it was aluminum. like plastic, it was like New York, metal. New York. Wasn't it like aluminum or like metal or something mm-hmm. like that? Uh, no, no backboard breaks like that. Not, no, like, not, not even one. glass. And then it broke like, like you it know? broke with his hand through it. Yes. It, broke, through it, it broke his hand. Like the shape of his hand went through it. <laughs> I said, "Come on, bro. Why, why, why y'all doing that? Mm-hmm. Why, why don't y'all have him slip or something like that? Yeah, right? Or let y'all really be on the roof yeah. and like he fouled him or something like that, and he tripped and, and tipped right. over yeah. the." But you yeah. know what? That, when I first watched this movie, that's what I saw. I remember I, I as saw a, kid, a foul, somebody getting pushed. I don't remember him just jumping off. Yeah. Basically, yeah. nigga committed suicide. That's basically what Nutso <laughs> did. Yeah. He committed suicide, bro. Uh, dang, that's crazy. Which don't make no sense. Yeah. And maybe that's what the trauma was like, okay, let me let me leave my mother and my the little brother. The beginning feels like the origin story for like a Marvel villain. Right, like, yeah. <laughs> like, like, yeah. like, you know, yeah. and why did Leon Nutso have on. no lines, man? Yeah. yeah. Why did Nutso not be able to talk? Because he didn't Cause he exist. Because he didn't exist. No, not not Nutso. Why Nutso? He yeah. did talk. He had lines in the oh, beginning. He said something like, "Oh, it's like that." Mm-hmm. No, he says like that. He was like, "No, I mean, I I, I do it like I." He and did. Then he backed he up did. and was like, yeah. Nah, I I think yeah, I think Nutso, like, I think Nutso is, is a figment of, of, of <laughs> Shep's imagination. You think so? <laughs> like the more I look at it, the more like I'm not a hundred percent sure Nutso ever existed. <laughs> Shep, like, so Shep was, yeah. was low key. I don't think he ever existed. Schizophrenic. I yeah. mean, he he was crazy. And I and I will say this, like because that's what makes this movie like when you go back and watch it, you're like, dang, he was kind of dealing with these things Mm -hmm. and they were deep it was like like really deep if you really think about how people do deal with depression and uh grief i've dealt with it Mm -hmm. and it's just important this is important to you know check on your people make sure that they're loved all that and uh you know we lost one of our comedy brothers yeah like recently so uh Rest in peace to Teddy Ray. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, you know, just, you know, a lot of people are doing that right now. And that's a good thing. Go back and watch this movie. You see that. You see it, how it can really affect somebody. And you really do be feeling like that. Like, you can't get out of it. Yeah. You be stuck. Mm-hmm. Still stuck on it. And that's why, like, I don't, like, there's certain parts I don't like about the movie. Like, when he, when he was getting, he was going back and forth. And he was like, stay away from my moms. And then mm-hmm. she's like, or what? What you going to do? And he was like, ask him. And he was just like, mm-hmm. And just, he well, I was like off. super yeah. buster, man. Yeah. I was like, "What's he doing?" Like, yeah. So my thing is, well, I, I never mind. I was about to say, why was she even interested in him in the first place? But he he was singing to her. He's Leon, and I feel like I feel like when, <laughs> same reason, same I feel reason like, why Lee Lee Rashawn was on him so tough and went to excel. I feel Leon. like when he when when she when he stood up on her, that's when it happened. Oh, in the diner, he in stood the diner. up. Yeah. Oh yeah, because at first he was scared. Yeah, remember, and that's when he, that brought him out of some depression too. Yeah. He's sitting there stuck. She touches, he go, oh. Mm-hmm. And then he stands yeah. up on her and Slash. she's like, oh, yeah. okay. Moisturize. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Draws a of blackness. I mean, you I mean, you gotta look at it for <laughs> handsome, yeah. tall, uh-huh. Um, mysterious. Mysterious in a yeah. sense that not like any of the other he's not like anybody else around here. Cannot forget the corduroys. Corduroy wearing. Corduroys bitch, bitch, and bitch. Henley. You know? Oh, Andy, Andy, <laughs> Andy went for 25 in corduroys. Mm-hmm. He I yeah. think he went for like he went, he went for, for 60. 30. I only re- was, only reason why he didn't maybe because the game wasn't over. It was a, it wasn't a full game. It wasn't. Mm-hmm. I think just he for, I think he was around forty five. Just full. I, just full. He was hitting the gang of threes. Never yeah. Mind. yeah, he, he was hitting threes. Yeah, he was he, he was, was real he chef was curry. everywhere. He was uh-huh. chef curry before Shep. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Shep was Shep before Shep. Even Steph. even even Sega. 
Even you know Birdie, yeah. even Birdie knew what was about to happen. He did. Yeah. <laughs> he started kicking chairs and he everything. He was like, "No, he, said, he ain't been playing. What, what are you doing? He ain't been playing. What is this? Yeah. Like, he ain't on the. Think, he's think not about on the it list. like. Think about it like this." The coach, the white coach, who ain't puts, seen this thing in 20 years who, and put him on the roster. Who put the security guard <laughs> on the roster? Put him on the, the roster guard. just in case hey. you ready to ball. They, yeah. they didn't have enough players. They, they only have, have, them, four no, they have four players. They lost two. They lost two. They have four players. But They lost one it. to a knee. Then think he goes, about oh, it. he's crying. Is he crying? He needs to go over there with yeah. all the other bitches. The coach, yeah. <laughs> the coach put him on the roster. <laughs> Ain't seen this man in 20 years since he lost no his shorts. mind when his homie fell out. Man. He was like, I'm saving you a spot because you are wet. He was on the list. Because he was first on the list. He was on the list yeah, before were. Kyle yeah, Watson was. Were you, were, you were wet. He <laughs> You're was the wettest there. nigga I've ever seen. Ever. He was on there yes. on the list before Kyle Watson was. That he was on and the list Kyle Watson was all American. All American. Going to Georgetown and Georgetown was a squad <laughs> back then. that the shit 90s. again. Yeah. Ja, say it again. He was on the list yeah. before, before Kyle, before Kyle. Kyle Lee Watson yeah. Listen, was all American. Well, I this thought you were job for this tournament. This was trying to understand it. That's how much I wanted you on the squad. This was trying to understand it. Around this time, they would have been, they would have been recruiting Bubba Chuck at the same time. Yes, they wanted him they wanted to be the him. star. Right. Him, right. okay? It's like, oh, we ain't, we don't need this. We don't need Al Iverson. We got Kyle. And here's we a, got Kyle Watson. And here's a, <laughs> with, the, with the wide, with the, with the, with the, with the wide figure. <laughs> yeah. Here's a here's a crazy part. Ten years later in New York, uh, you would be like, man, you ever heard about that nigga Tom? <laughs> nigga had forty years, at, forty points at the Rucker. In corduroys. In corduroys. <laughs> and the least a legend. And the least corduroys. Yeah. Hey, let me tell you this. Mm-hmm. What ha- what would have happened if at the end of the movie where we saw Kyle on TV playing for Georgetown mm-hmm. and the two guard was With Shep? Because he, he got Come eligibility on, still. Uh, he got he still got eligibility. eligibility. You know what I'm saying? He didn't waste his clock. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? He a fr- they freshmen together. So Something on the squad. He, he don't have no... He didn't have a... Um, uh, the, ACT? That's no, he didn't. He didn't. He didn't pass high school. He yeah, left. Yeah, he How do you know he didn't go in and get a GED in the last ten years? We don't know that. No. I'm just he pretty do sure that he, security guards don't need. I'm GED. pretty sure Shep ain't gonna pass a drug test. <laughs> Stupid. <nigga. laughs> huh? I'm pretty sure Shep ain't. Uh, t- oh yeah, he ain't passing the drug test. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna Shep, Shep on yeah. Sherm. Shep on he was still on Sherm. Still getting wet. And if <laughs> he is on, wet, you know what? You know what? If he is on Sherm, he probably did pass the test because you can take you, you Sherm out and you just study. Yeah. Hey, that's what the movie's missing. He was on Sherm and he hit like probably like. 13 threes back, back to, to back. back. That's what I'm back saying. Back. That's he didn't miss. Yeah. He didn't miss. Some of them was, some of and, and some of them run just off screens. He it's just, some, it's some, he just verbaled up. It's then, some important scenes that yeah. were missing from this film. If like, right before we saw Shep shadow balling and he just got right, he just right got right. It. He'd be like, yeah. ah, yeah. this fool gets hide and sees things. Yeah. Right? Like, you know, yeah. Yeah. Ma- now it makes and so much really, more really, sense. And really, now that I think about it, you know, when you first start playing basketball, like a good like, folks were like, man, my my pops wouldn't even let me dribble. They wouldn't even let me shoot. Mm-hmm. All I do was dribble and do drills all day before he even let yep. me shoot. And do yep. defensive dribble, do defensive uh, drills all day. Mm. Shep was still nice ten years later because he he balled every night. Shep, nice. without the ball, but he practiced every night. Let me tell you something. That's Legend. why he was so nice. Let, bro. Let His me, game never left. Let me tell you something. Legendary. Also. That shit don't work, okay? <laughs> I thought that I would go out and run routes without a football, mm-hmm. okay? Yep. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Ain't in the, same. the game, <laughs> that ball come, well, the, and you going to have to catch is, it. Football is different, yeah. bro, because <laughs> in basketball, you got the ball already mm-hmm. in your hand. Yep. But it's still it's still one of those skills where, like, if you don't have, if you ain't playing with a ball, right. you are not going to be good we'll at see, it. But you're talking it's about Unless, unless you're you, Tommy Shepard, man. Unless, like I said. Unless you got corduroy. You're talking about, corduroy, about yeah. playing sober, right? But, <laughs> yeah, you're talking about Tommy Shepard, in corduroy, on Sherm. On Sherm. Shit slows down like drive time. Yeah, I ain't never had. I ain't never did that. Damn. Have you ever did all those four things together? You know, nothing. you ever been Tommy Shepard? No, I haven't. Have you ever, been, <laughs> have you ever played basketball in quarter wars? Yes, you have. And a yes, Henley. Don't yeah. forget but the Henley. Yes, I have. <laughs> and I, don't forget and the I'm gonna tell you. Sleeve. Let me tell you another thing. I, I sweated through them through them quarter wars. That's hard to do. He yeah. ain't sweat not Come a on, man. sweat the whole Come game. Come on, man. He, he was bleeding. That's no. it. He was bleeding. That's all he did was bleed. No, no sweat. He Listen. said, "Hey, man, why you gotta do this? <laughs> you, we, you can the just stop." The only the only time I seen Leon ball better was in 
a little known movie called The Air Up. Come there. on now, nigga. Right? When the Watusi. Play, when he was playing for Wanabi. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know. Yeah. Right. He's a legend. He's uh-huh. a legend. All right. The Air Up there but with Kevin the Bacon. The Air Up there. Come on now. Jumbo. Um, uh-huh. he, did a, he, did a, he did a Jimmy Dollar <laughs> shake and bake. Okay. The Jimmy <laughs> Dollar shake and bake. Yeah. Jimmy Dollar <laughs> shake and bake. <laughs> Man, Man, the Air Up there, like, bro. Z- oh. Okay, mm-hmm. okay. <laughs> Let me run us through the awards. Let's go through the awards okay. real quick. All right. Uh, who's the movie MVP? Ooh. Who wins the movie? The guest goes first. Um, Tupac. Yeah. I like that. I like it. Great choice. You, you like second it. that? No. Who's your, who's your MVP? Coach Hollins. Coach Hollins. <laughs> yep. Coach Hollins. The two, main, the two main characters in the movie Achieved were touched and, and mentored by Coach Hollins. Yep. Oh. The reason why he was able to change who he was and and help Kyle out mm-hmm. and mentor Kyle is because of Coach Hollins. Yep. Mm-hmm. And the same thing goes from uh, uh for Coach Hollins. I mean for uh Watson, mm-hmm. Kyle Watson. Coach Hollins was there, bro. He was the father figure to both of them. Hollins, the Hollins objective. Oh, <laughs> here's the thing. Yeah, here's the, the thing. White man. And, and here's the thing. I, I'll take that. I'll but mention. in real in real life, he mm-hmm. lit this dude was a white man mm-hmm. coaching a black team, a black team, all the boys. Were uh were black kids. There's a whole yeah. black team, and it was a white coach that was there he and dedicated, he and he cared. wouldn't leave. Yeah, he wouldn't move to Florida and retire yeah. until he had a, a, a that's what I'm a, saying. Yeah. He had another coach for it. It was a win 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 for Howard. He's the MVP. He got Kyle bro. to Georgetown. Yeah. He got Tommy the new job, and he got to Florida. And Come he got, on, and he got bro. Chef off Sherm. And he got Chef <laughs> he off got Sherm. Chef off Sherm. Because <laughs> yeah. you can't coach yeah. a team on Sherm. But I agree. <laughs> you can't, you the, can't, bro. The movie the movie MVP is Bert. I agree. I agree. I agree with Bert. Yeah. Um, hey, Brody killed Flip, man. Yeah. He 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 buck 50 to the death. I'm not fucking with Bird. Who's the unsung hero? The unsung hero. So basically, this is somebody that's not the MVP, but they like are the second most significant part of this movie. Mm, mm, mm. The unsung hero. I'm leaning on the mom. I'm leaning like on that. mom. That's a I like call. that. I'm leaning on mom. She, hey, she, she flaked on her son on the movies, but then went on the movies, went to the movies with with Shep. I'm not. No, 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 no. She, she wrote a note to her and, and to him and said, "I had to be at the shift." Mm-hmm. And Shep stopped her from going to talk. So when they were off, he was out there running around with Birdie and them. And that's when old dude went up and and that's when uh, what's his name, uh, the one that he the, the crazy one. The soldier. Flip. Flip. The soldier. Oh, Motaw. Motaw. So he went up and Motaw he- Motaw was a savage. You know, he they didn't know they was going out there <laughs> and he was going to mm-hmm. beat up the people and get his drug mm-hmm. money. But he did it. And he's like, you see that? I'm a soldier. That's what I'm he was soldier. doing. Yeah, that's what he's doing. And then when he's walking off, he sees, oh, wow. Like, my mom's out with some dude. Yeah. He was out there. You was out there with a nigga on Sherm. That's your fault. That's mm-hmm. what I'm saying. Unsung hero. I don't know. That's low, how kids are. That's low how kids co- be. Low key for me is uh, Marlon. Is is, is Bug. Thank you, uh, yeah, nigga. You killed, you killed, yeah. Oh, yeah, like I was like, thinking uh, that. That was my second. He was Bug, a damn good friend. Mm-hmm. Damn mm-hmm. good friend. Yeah, and and dispense justice at the end. Yeah, yeah. he's hero. the one that took out Birdie. Yeah, yeah. And I'm okay with that. Yep. All right. Um, Birdie deserved it. Tupac died good too in that one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Then he, at the, then he looked at the shot. He touched, like, the, yeah. he touched the bullet wound. In the club he owned. Yeah. Yeah. In the club he owned. In the red room. In the boom right. boom room. In the boom boom room. In the right. boom boom room. And he, uh, yeah, uh, your boy was loyal, man. Yeah. yeah. Your boy was loyal. Yeah. And um, and uh, I, I tell you, Bug is my unsung hero. Bug. Marlon, Marlon Wayans, man. How would you recast this movie in 2022? <sighs> if you had to recast this who movie. Who can hoop and act? <sighs> um... Chris Brown is bird Chris, for me, huh? Chris Brown is bird. Chris Brown's bird. I'm 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 bird. Birdie, Birdie. Oh. Birdie. Chris I'm Brown's casting, a gangster. I'm, ca- I'm casting Chris Brown as Birdie. No, Chris Brown is oh, nuts. So. Absolutely, you not. think Chris Brown is nuts? So Chris Brown is nuts. So for sure, Sherm out and everything. You giving him? You giving him give, the stomp the yard treatment where, give, he, where he's too old where he now. Dies in the yeah, first might, five minutes. He's too old film. now. He can, play, he, can play, he can play college, but he can't play high school no more. But shit, all the niggas have beards in, 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 on, on the team, mm-hmm. and yeah. I, I when they play, uh, yeah, all the niggas. Chris Brown would be Kyle. He would be Kyle. He would be Kyle. He can hold. He can hold. I think he's too rough to 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 get. Chris Brown's rough. I don't think. Yes, at this point, yes. Like at this point, he he cannot play a preppy. No, no, no. He cannot play a preppy. Like well, not with the tattoos and all. That's what I'm saying. I get that, but no, like, no, no, we no, go no. like makeup for that. No, like no. like early Chris Brown, like stomp the yard, Chris Brown. Yeah, but this version of Chris Brown. Okay, so when I say when I question him being tough, I don't think t- t- uh, Chris Brown could play a street dude. Yeah, I, I agree with that. He he's not a, he's not a, he don't look soft at all. He didn't even act soft. But mm-hmm. 
I don't know if he plays Birdie. Yeah. He might play Motal. You know what I'm saying? But I, I think somebody I think somebody more composed mm. as an actor. So who so who could play who could play Birdie if you had to cast Birdie today? Um the baby could. Uh if you're talking about, I'm thinking about rappers. That's you know an interesting that's the baby, interesting. The baby could. Um That's very interesting. That's YG? What, YG. YG could, yeah, yeah. for sure. If we can hear him, because he don't, he don't be he, he doing this. this, 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 this YG? This, this, this. Like yeah. game YG. <laughs> game for sure. Game, game could be game birdie. Could, yeah, game could be birdie game for sure. Could be birdie. Game would do oh, he would be over the top though. Yeah. So it'd much. be like, all right, like, man, well, come he, 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 he play he, big meat. He'd be mo, and, and, Motop. And, and, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I can see him. Yeah. You can play Motop. Um, okay. But uh as far as who could play Kyle? I don't know anybody that could play Kyle because I don't know. If I think you got, you got Chris Brown. You think Chris Brown? But, I think um, Chris Brown's doing it. I just think he, I don't think he can play a, a squeaky clean preppy anymore. He I think was, he's lost that. I mean, but you can where, you can. where would he lose it? Where you lose it? I just think like what we no, know about him is a just from from his life experience thus far. You know what I mean? Like you know, that's where the acting comes in. But listen, though. no. And, but what and, I'm saying is there also, there was a time like if you think about Chris Brown, mm-hmm. if you think about Chris Some Brown and just Christmas. Brown. Right, this Christmas. Remember for sure. that version yeah. of Chris Brown. He killed that. By the way, that version of Chris Brown can play a Kyle high Watson. school preppy. The current Chris Brown uh-huh. cannot play a high schooler. I feel like this is an issue with seeing how he is and what he does now. Mm-hmm. So what you do is you do a little media control and you throw out videos of him just dancing for at least a year. Just and everybody gonna be like, oh yeah, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Did you see him doing run it? Did you see him like last? That's a great thing. Who could play? I'm saying, that works. If everybody sees him that, that way. They're gonna be like, oh that yeah, yeah, theory. that makes. All right, he's that just dancing. <laughs> it's just media. Never control. mind that Rihanna thing. <laughs> he still got it. He's <laughs> dancing. I'm telling you, yeah. you see the man dance, you're like, dang, like that is amazing. You forget that him and Rihanna. I think maybe fight. like uh, maybe the the light skin boy from Blackish. Can he hoop? Well, well, he, he's gonna need some hoop training. I mean, who knows? He might be. He might be dumb nice. Yeah, you don't know. Yeah, Mike. but somebody like that, Mike yeah. from the Wire. I thought. I thought about Mike, but is he? Too oh, old now. can he hoop? He, he, I, I think he's the same age as Chris. Oh, Brown. Mike from the Wire. Yeah, yeah. did not come on, come yeah. Uh, Tristan Wilds. 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 Yeah. Mac yeah. Wilds. Mac Wilds. That's that's who I would cast. Yeah, one hundred percent. Right now, I haven't seen him, so 100%. I don't know what he looks like. I mean, we. He still look young enough. Uh, everything, everything is pending yeah. uh, a combine. Mm-hmm. And if you can hoop, <laughs> you got to go to the co- You got to uh, go through this combine before you get this role. Um, I like that. Wrong, 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 wrong. I haven't seen that show in a long time. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Well, I'm sure some. I'm sure some of these dudes. Uh, Ashley, um, Chef they? Brian McKnight. Come on now. Right now? Right now. Right now, he's 50 some years old. I mean, Maybe it's flipped. Gotta, yeah. Gotta, <laughs> just, <laughs> just for me, no, you know, just for me, he dark, um, he dark in that beard. Okay. He's Shep. How can he act? Brian McKnight, he is a very competitive person. Here's who I'm casting. Now, Brian McKnight is my favorite artist. Ed, he yeah. can, Ed, but I'm Ed, talking about shoot. as an actor. I know he can hoop. He can't go left. I know he can hoop. He can shoot. As Kyle, I'm casting uh, the son from Power. Oh, you talking about uh, uh, Rainey, Michael Rainey Jr., the Tariq what's his character, Tariq. Tariq, Tariq, and then as Shep, I'm casting uh, what's homie that's married to Tiana Taylor. Oh, uh, okay. Amon 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 Shepard. 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 That's my Shep. Okay, I can see him if he can act. <laughs> and he got a big personality, so uh, he yeah. probably yeah. can pull that off. Yeah. He can. I can see that. That's my Shep. He's dumb nice too. Right. right. You know what I'm saying? If he's he the only act, one I can believe that can put up forty in quarter Yeah. That's the, yes. only one that I That's got the main thing is the corduroy. <laughs> yeah, can, yeah, who can put yeah, up forty in your in your audition, your sub tape? I need you mm-hmm. to put on some corduroy, yes. and you got to flood them. Okay, and, yeah. all right, you got to be flooding. <laughs> you got to. You know what I'm gotta, saying before we get cuff. to the rankings, story predictions. What, um, what happens to these characters? In the um, future? Chef stops working. He stops working as a security guard, mm-hmm. but he does have his own line of corduroys. Ooh, <laughs> you feel me? Chef Roy. <laughs> the Tommy <laughs> Shepherds. The Tommy yeah. Shepherds. Uh, the Shepherds. And they become millionaires. Tommy is like the early entry of like the athleisure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's Fabletics. The relaxed right? He has a new, <laughs> right. he has a, he has a, he has a son. With Kyle's mom, mm-hmm. names him Birdie, teaches Ooh. him how to play basketball and keeps him from the streets. Full circle. Ooh. Come okay. on now. Full I like circle. it. 
I like predictions. Now. That's it right there. Any predictions? <laughs> I, um, shoot. Uh, Kyle goes to the league. Mm -hmm. Goes to the league. He does. He goes to the league. He was nice, though. He was nice. Yeah, he was. You know, um, so he's an All-American come out of New York. Those type of kids go to the NFL. I mean, NBA. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So he goes to the league. And, he, and we're talking about 94 going to Georgetown. Mm -hmm. And he's a point guard. He's mm -hmm. going to the league. You know what I'm saying? And so, like anybody, it was 94. If you go, if you play for UMass, mm -hmm. you play for uh, um, Georgetown at the time, mm -hmm. Villanova, if you carry Kittles. Yeah. Like that's that's area, like those guards was going yeah, back was then. Going. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I think that he he would definitely go to the league. Mom was a nurse. So, mom is a nurse. Her, her She marries. Shep, mm -hmm. he he's the coach of a basketball team of that basketball team, and they had good, they had they had an all American, they had a good team. I was, they had the bigs. They yeah, had yeah. that dude was a junior, by the way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the dude so he like goes, Bo Jackson. Yeah, he mm -hmm. was a junior, probably Storm. I think the Storms or Storms mm -hmm. or something like that, and and they win championships. Yeah, out there in New York, I, I think that. success. I think Kyle plays four years at Georgetown, and then like, kind of washes out in Barcelona. Um, and and, and, and so like or like like Lithuania or one of them shits, right? That's like, still that's still a, a, a respectable career. Yeah. They get they get paid. That's, Here's my argument. Like for that. Here's my too. argument for that. Um, he was only recruited by one school, right? Like St. John's wasn't hollering. Iona, like you know Rutgers. Damn. It was just that one recruiter from Georgetown that saw something. That was in him. bad for the story. So though. he wasn't like a highly was... he wasn't a highly recruited. Which player. is impossible if you're no, all American. I think, I think he he wanted. I think the thing was he wanted to go to Georgetown. That's, right. So, but what, like, but what I'm the saying is, they the only showed they never coming. called out like his options it. were yeah. Georgetown City College. Like there was never Marist. Or Rutgers, I feel like that was or him, Columbia, or the, NYU. I, I want to say there was a there was a, a line or two in there where he was like, the coach was like, "Don't worry about it. They're going to come. They're yeah. coming. They're here." He was like, "But it's Georgetown." It I, was he Georgetown, was, he was, and then yeah, he told his he mom, "Worry about Georgetown. Georgetown." And she was like, "Well, if it's not Georgetown, you still going to college? What city college? Right? Yeah, that was the line." So yeah. clearly, he didn't have no offers from nowhere else. Dang, that's crazy. Which means that he wasn't that good. Dang. Right? Like, you know, he had no, the one recruiter. Isn't it consistent, is it consistent with the facts? Because he was All-American. And he started was he when he got all there. All-American? They said yeah. it. They said he was an all So an All-American with only one recruiter? That's, that's why it's offer? bad. That's why this is a discrepancy in the writing, y'all. Yeah. For one, the nutso situation... Him committing suicide, flip, and 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 uh, yo, he's flipped. <laughs> and your boy Kali Watson being all American and, and only, only getting, getting one, one Kali. Yeah, no. okay, that's not that's not how that works. If if he was an all American, that that blows up my prediction. But so what does he do after after <sighs> after his career is over? He, he comes back home. The game they showed at the end, though. He, he was had killing. A good, he, had a good he had the game winner. Did he hit the game winner? Yeah, yeah. Good with his hands open. We had a good game. Uh, as a freshman, that. I hate it. Yeah. Those type of fresh, like <laughs> so. What? So here's what happens. Like that. Here's what happens to him. So he goes on. Things play pretty well. Mm -hmm. um, Leon marries his mom. Mm -hmm. Cheats on his mom. No, get a little. Uh, <laughs> Damn. No. So he stops. So he so he leaves school early. Declares for the NBA. Uh -huh. um, ends up marrying a girl. He used to play basketball with as a child. Um, the wow. night before he got married. <laughs> <laughs> like just total Dude like that's, that's Shep, on the rim Shep does. into love and basketball. <laughs> right? Damn. Yeah, just like straight into love. He ah, falls in love with him and says, I'll yeah, play you for your heart. I play, he yeah. plays it for his for his heart. She wins, ironically. Yeah. And uh that's they a, live happily ever once after. again. That does not sit well <laughs> with the consistency of the story. Right. Mm -hmm. Shep Went for 40 in quarter boys. Yeah, he doesn't he, lose. Yeah. He, doesn't he doesn't lose. lose. He doesn't lose. He doesn't lose. So he's about to go on a on a, on a crazy streak. He doesn't lose. Like yeah. a just winning championships. Yeah. And he coaches LeBron. Um, he ends up he coaching LeBron. LeBron. <laughs> and he coaches LeBron. He finds his way to Ohio? Uh, yes. And yeah. he coaches Jesus Shuttlesworth. Yes. I'm about to say that. Yeah. He coaches both. The game was similar. See, yeah. see this kind of reminds <laughs> me of like, of like the Tarantino multiverse, <laughs> which is like, what if like... All of these black basketball films yeah, yeah, like yeah. merged together. Yeah. Like Sidney Dean was on that team who would too. Be, who would be but your like, point guard? <laughs> <laughs> who would be your point guard? It's like for real. Who would be your point guard? Sidney Dean. Who would be the point guard? It's gotta be Kyle. Kyle has to be point because would name me another point 
Not even for uh, not even for uh, what's the shit called? Earl um, the goat. Mm-hmm. No, no. Ooh, ooh, Earl, Earl the goat. Man of goat. He's Manigold. the only nigga that can break the backboard and, and yeah. jump through the window. So Manigo, Manigo is definitely he starting. Too much bounce. He will starting live. that one. He too much though. bounce. He's he not a better two guard than Shep. Okay, forty and quarter Royce. So what? So Kali Watson is on the bench. He's a six man. You he's know not what? big enough to play the three. You know why he's on the bench? Because you still got you still got blue chips. Mm-hmm. You got a, you got you a, got Anthony. You got Anthony Hardaway there. Ooh. Come on, is Anthony? You got who out? Denzel was? I bet you, you got I, Shuttlesworth. I'll tell you who else would beat Jesus. him. Because he's like he's like fourth or fifth. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, like Mike Bow Wow, and the nigga from Wanabi. Like you know, <laughs> <laughs> it's bars That's out five here. Right there. I don't, I don't, know, Watson, if, I don't know if he gets off the bench. He was six You're eight. On the bench, six, bro. He was like six eight. Six, I don't know if he's doing bench. windmills. He's not starting. You're on the bench. Bro. Okay, gents. Time for the fists. Ooh. How many fists you give this movie? Okay, I want to give it. Uh, guess you gotta go first. I mean, you already started, so I ain't um, no. Just, just play it. Um, I'm I'm gonna give it uh, 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 four and a half fists. Okay. Mm-hmm. Can I do halves? Yeah, you can give half. I'm going to give it four and a half fists. Yeah. Okay. Because there, oh. there was like only two scenes where I was just like, oh, come on. But it, I can I can deal with the long jump head start and go through the can uh, what's you? name. You I can, can deal with that. that. Mm-hmm. Because only re- yeah, only reason only reason why I'm dealing with it, though, is because of the theories that we put together here today. That it was on Sherm. Mm-hmm. Not that he was just on Sherm. It was the fact that that really didn't happen. And that was like a vision of how he was supposed yeah. to be. That was just his career falling off, off of the roof. I get it. The only reason why I can't do that <laughs> is because I don't believe that Nutso is Flip. Because if Nutso was Flip, then when Shep got back in touch with Flip, mm-hmm. it would have been a different response. I feel like I feel like Nutso is Birdie, though. Did Nutso exist? That's who Nutso mm-hmm. is. Okay. So he was on the roof by himself, tripping. Tripping. Tweaking oh, out. Sure, mm-hmm. sure. Yeah. All right, so thinking Nutso that, is older now. I mean, th- thinking Birdie is older now. Maybe that's where Birdie, Birdie got dies. his scar when he when he when fell. He fell. Oh. You see what I'm saying? Mm. <laughs> you see what I'm okay, saying? Okay, I'm more now, willing to buy out. that one. <laughs> I'm more willing to buy that. Okay, <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> hey man, no, no, but I, I I just give I just give it. I would just say four and a half because I I really like the movie. It's one of my favorite movies. This is actually like. Like my time, like mm-hmm. I was, on, I think I was in the fifth or sixth grade. Yeah, I was killing the game around this time. You know what I'm saying? I was getting girls. You know what I'm <laughs> saying? I was listening to the soundtrack. Mm-hmm. Like you know, woke mm-hmm. up one morning off with Bob Ascot, but kind of deal. So I cruise mm-hmm. around the block, mm-hmm. hey. see my cousin Snoop as I swoop in the coop. Like that was my that was my music. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was at the park one day. That's what I done. Say she was looking carry to me. Now, come on, man. Come on. Ooh. That's my time. So I, I gotta get it for you. Hell no. Why's that? Because it's a you Because you never give a man a bitch just to me. Okay. Yeah, for sure. Hey, perfect. Um, <laughs> how many fists do I give it? Yeah, I base a lot of my 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 fist giving pause on <laughs> the reality of the film, mm-hmm. even when it's like a a stretch reality. But I do understand the Rucker is basically what the shootout is, mm-hmm. and a lot of the teams that are ran, owned by the the team owners are a lot of D boys, street drug niggas, dealers, now rappers. They got the money, mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So that the shootout situation is real, and there was a shootout at the shootout that could be real too. Yep. I see that happen, unfortunately, and um, so I get that basketball, a high school basketball kid being arrogant, and he's too good for his own good to listen to anybody, and. By the way, he was he was downside he was down he was going down the a down spiral because of his arrogance, mm-hmm. and so I I believed everything. What I didn't like, I was hard for me to give it a five because of that nutso scene at the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> That's really bothering yeah. me, bro. Yeah. I, I I can't see the dude yep. breaking through. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Through a, it was a metal. wooden metal, mm-hmm. it was metal. Uh, was it uh, fiberglass? Yep. Yeah, whatever. Yep, yep, yep. I, I can't do you that. You can tell how it sounded. It was like, it's like mm-hmm. it was one of them, cool. but like um, the 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 local security girl for the high school being a legend, mm-hmm. I can believe that too. So yep. it, it reminded me of a hood a hood movie that could be realistic outside of the nuts so shit. I got you, and so I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna give it a four and a half, four and a half, 
because of that. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I like that. I yeah, like but that. I love the film. Um, Soundtrack is amazing. <laughs> He's about to give it like yeah. a two. No, 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 no. No, no, no. But I, I like that. I like that. I'm going uh, to break down my math, though. <laughs> okay. Uh, for for impact, it kind of deserves five stars because yeah. it was a very impactful movie. Right. And when you got the best soundtrack of all time. Right. right? Like, you know, mm-hmm. so that's got to buoy you up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, big continuity errors f- just for a film. Yeah. Which we already talked about. Yeah. Let's also talk about, I don't know if you guys were following the condition of Kyle's fade. Throughout the film. Oh, my God. Right? <laughs> like, like uh, <laughs> you could tell they shot the film out of order. Yeah. Uh, because, yeah. like, the second day his fade was better than the first day. Yeah, yeah. So he went to, like, he went to, to bed went to, yeah. with, like, yeah, a, yeah. like an eight-day-old fade and woke up with the morning. And you could tell by the part. They gave him the Marbury, the single Marbury yeah, yeah, yeah. part. Marbury. Yeah. A lot, a, lot of, a lot of continuity there. Well, he, um, they did, he did just win a game. So. No, but when you lost. look at it again, he when lost. you rewatch it yeah, again, you'd be like, oh, yeah, that's, that's it's got a totally yeah. different fate. Oh, um, yeah. So Tyler that Perry drops fades. it down. It it should be a, a, a three fifths movie for me. Uh, Tupac's performance in it. Thanks. Um, just the legendary putting up forty in corduroys. Yes. Um, yes. and then on sure. Just this movie. Just all of the different theories that we've come up with just in this podcast mm-hmm. on what was really going on. Yeah, means that this is a a meaty, significant, yeah. fun film. Right. So for that, four fists uh, yeah, for man. your boy Tone. Boom. Four by the rim. That's what I'm I love it. About. I love it. You shook your head about it being a two, uh, two fists? Three. three. It's a three. Three. <laughs> <laughs> you just can't get past can't the even, beginning. Can't, you can't get past what? You can't get past yeah. the beginning. Backboard. Yeah. yeah. The backboard <laughs> drops it down two fists? Yeah. Our producer Dame is like it's three. That, that just lets me know that the writer knows nothing about, about basketball, yeah. Yeah. and it's disrespectful. It's disrespectful. <laughs> it's, it's yeah. I'm it's, with you. It's it supposed be, to I be took a half three. A fist. It's supposed to be a three, but the corduroy Henley performance. Yeah, yeah. it's just like yeah. It's with epic. The, with the J.C. Penny belt. It's epic. J.C. Penny With the J.C. Penny belt. And it's Leon. It was the Easter J.C. Right? Penny like, belt, you know, too. I, that brown one that you always got to yeah. get for Easter. Him, him all right. And also, <laughs> him Leon. coming off the taxi yeah. in the Elise's. Coming out of the taxi in it the makes, Elise's. It makes so much <laughs> sense. Never missing. Corduroy. And, and you know what I'm saying? And then he had on the trench. That trench was listen, cold. Listen, the listen, little on, mustard listen. brown, yellowish you know trench I mean? was cold. The jersey on top of the Henley. He was shaft. He was shaft on court. And was wet. He was wet, bro. And well, the, he, he, the, did, he, he did the, the, the one that hit the front of the rim, then bounced, do, do, and yeah. then dropped. There's some yeah. Game of Thrones level foreshadowing. When the coach put his name on the roster, you made this point. That's true. His name was on the roster. Before his All-American player. That's true. <laughs> but I, I, will, I, do. I do want to say this, okay, just about uh, uh, black women in general. Yeah. Like, for her to be in that movie by herself, pretty much, mm-hmm. and hold it down like that. Yes. Because we Flowers. get our kingdoms from our women. Flowers. Boom. And that's what she gave Shep. Yep, okay, boom. get off that sherm and go help my boy. Mm-hmm. You ain't going to come here and talk to me and try to get with me. Yep. Yeah. And you just walk out on I got a whole 17-year-old here. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. A I mean, whole one. Yeah. And, and he's nice. And then, and then she said, and he said and you can't talk to him because he yeah. ain't here. I got a whole seventeen year old here, but you and can't, can't talk, talk to him because he ain't here. Anytime you could tell <laughs> right, somebody, I can't see you. No, you didn't. Without any like neck rolling, yeah. Real Housewives, you're a runner, right? She hit him with the cold. That's just that's just that's just strength. That's love. And she, and it's not that's like, love. It's, it's not like she didn't like him. She was with him. She yeah. she was digging him. But she was like, up until she you, saw you walked you're off. You're a runner. My son. Yeah. You're a runner. Yeah. Like, you walked you off. Doing? She was a savage. She was like, you been staying with my mom or what? You're a runner. Yeah. She was with you. Yeah. I'm with and you. And you ran? You're a you dipped? She said, yeah. I'm not even mad at you. I just can't deal with it. Cool. I love that woman. Who, uh, okay, we can't, I guess. We're done. Mm-hmm. No. What? I was going to say, who will we, who will we uh, cast for the mom? Um, good question. Uh, Taraji P. Yeah. Taraji. 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 I feel like she'd be too angry. Nah. She would, She would turn, she wouldn't, she, the finesse. Of those scenes with she, she all right. So Taraji does have a, a certain type of she got a certain spice to her. She does have a certain spice. The first name that jumped in my name. The so first name that jumped in my mind. Her demeanor was more Kimberly Elise. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? She's more like even kill because this mom is even kill. Even when she told somebody I'm done with you, she told her you in the smoothest way. Right. You're a runner. Yeah. I don't have time. I can't for do that. it. I, I got. I won't do that. 
Yeah. I'm, I'm gone. I'm out of here. I know it wasn't like, you, I can't believe you. None of that. Yeah. It was more like, you know. That's Taraji. I'm, I'm cool. True. 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 Yeah. Maybe not Taraji. So. Well, I, I'd seen her in that Tyler Perry film. Oof. When that Mexican told her off. You don't know my life. Viola. 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 Whoa. Her, I don't know if she would have a 17-year-old, 18-year-old. Um, but she could be. I mean, she could be an older mom. Don't nobody want to see Viola snotting up at the video game. <laughs> at the championship game. Oh. What about Megan Good is 40, Snot right? Bubbles. Megan Good is 40. But she, she, look, but she can still she, play 30. Yeah, she's too hot for that role. Yeah. Just don't put, no, make, just, here's the thing. Just don't put no makeup on her. Don't <laughs> put no makeup on Megan Good. She can do it. She look good without makeup, though. Yeah, she, she did. She do. Megan Good? No, no. Lord Jesus. Megan, Megan Good. good. Anybody, I nigga. Just, anybody. Just too hot I just had to put role. that out there. Megan. Everybody. Hilarious. Everybody. I got to believe that Megan Good is still in the hood. Right? <laughs> yes, like, you know, that, because... that somebody ain't came and got her <laughs> yeah. like, a long yeah. time ago. Yeah, she doing her thing right now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Do your mm-hmm. thing, Megan. Right, last, last thing. There's also a scene where number 52 passes it. To and yes. he passes to 52. Yeah. Continuity. It's him. Yeah. The, the, it's him. No, no. He didn't pass. What he does is he steals the ball. He yes. jumps up, steals the ball, then outlet passes, mm-hmm. and then catches it perfectly and goes into a windmill. Listen, no. if, we, if we really talking about continuity, um, the game winning alley oop is improbable as fuck, right? <laughs> Considering where Ship steals the ball, where Kyle would have to be, nah, in order for him to make up that ground to catch the the, the lob. It's happened. I'm sorry. I mean, you say, hey, it's happened. only reason why I'll say that you, the man one videos Shep back is in the magical. day, Shep is magical. They literally, yeah. I've seen like mm-hmm. full court alley oops. Yeah. yeah. They're cold. You know what I'm saying? I've seen them yeah. in real and, life. And, like, and, and they're smaller. But, like they're this, smaller but courts, also, this too. is 94, though. They wasn't doing the kind of stuff in 94 that they were doing in 2004. True. 2004, the and one shit, niggas wasn't doing that back then. I'm not, well, they was doing it on the streets. They just didn't do it in the, and, in the game. And, and, I'm not, I'm not second guessing anything that my man Shep, the GOAT. Yeah, if you can, if you He's can go for 40 and quarter quarter wars, you can do anything, bro. Uh, is, is, that's the question. Is Shep. The goat is I, he better than Jordan? Is he better than so LeBron? Here's what, here's what I have to say. Me. What about the goat, man? A goat. I feel like he's better than all. Okay, so here's what. So here's what the quarter ways. Here's what I would say to that. Here's what I would say to that. And we got to put this on the board. We got to keep it like a running tab because we're gonna say some shit and you know we need to be able to back it up. He's averaging forty right now. I gotta say that's the most dominant performance I've seen by a single athlete in any sports movie <laughs> ever. Hmm. Who did who did more mm. than than what Shep did? Willie Beeman threw for four hundred and, and a half. Beeman was balling. Yeah, <laughs> Willie Beeman. Beeman was balling. <laughs> he, threw, he went for four hundred and a half. But but like three fifty six with like four touchdowns. Ah, and a half. I still don't feel like I like I love I love Stevie Willie Beeman after he threw up. I still don't like, feel like I, I still feel like Shep's performance. Shep, I mean, it's Beeman wasn't in there. corduroy, so yeah. there it is. I'm trying to That's think. True. I'm about to get like if Beeman had come out of the stands, yeah, in corduroy without a helmet. That's fact. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that does change things. Damn, and he was He's starting too, so yeah. he was already the guy. Yeah, and but uh, this Shep guy came, was starting to didn't even know it. Shep yeah. was headed. Shep was headed to Connecticut or something. He was like that. on yeah. his way to Laguardia. Yeah, <laughs> he's about to get about like, here. And he had the leases on. He yes. had, he had on the airplane fit. This fool was in Queens. He went from Queens to Harlem, and he said, "Let me pull over. Let me pull yeah. over." Yep. And say this game real quick. Yeah. And then go take a bullet. Boom. Right. I'm going to say this game and this life real quick. Wait yeah. a minute. He said, oh, let yeah, me you take know a what? bullet too. <laughs> take a bullet. Before he gets we out the cab. Talk about that. Before he gets out the cab. Let me go say this game my brother was and over take here, a bullet. And he's shooting niggas. He's killing niggas. So, <laughs> so shit, no, you know what? Not he only was he dominant, he, 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 he went for 40 and corduroys. He won the game. He won the whole shootout. <laughs> And took a bullet. He took a <laughs> bullet, lived, Knowing he was and gonna saved take... the All American that went to Georgetown. And he knew. And then he married the All American's mom. I cannot, I can't, I. Yeah. You can't argue with That's that. That's the He's most the dominant performance. This. Shepherd's the GOAT. It was delayed. It was delayed greatness. Like, literally. Yeah. He made up for all the he bullshit made up he did for all, all the years movie. that he yeah. did. Yeah. yeah, we imagine he went down south. Forget, right? forget that. Maybe forget. <laughs> let's let's just forget. <laughs> he probably went to let's like for, went to Atlanta. Or, or gotta, let's, gotta right. let's forget everything is his fault. Yeah, <laughs> he right. made up for yeah. it when he had them corduroys on in that game. Oh my god! And took that bullet. Let me ask you this. Mm-hmm. Let me ask you this. You know, Kyle Shepard, Kyle Watson was real broken up. Yeah, when he found out that 
something happened to Flip. And he went out there, was looking for him. I know where he's going. Is he? Was Flip? Was Kyle's he Flip daddy? Watson? <laughs> was he? Is it impossible I mean, though? Yes. It's impossible. I mean, and th- and he cared. Why? He cared about him. Why? He there really cared th- about there, him. Yeah. Why? Because Flip's room, Flip's old teammate, ended up getting with. His ex, his ex girl. Mm. Hey, hey, I feel Think like of Franklin Saint Daddy was a base head too. <laughs> Man. Man, it's not impossible. It's, not, it's unlikely, but it's, it's like, not impossible. It's unlikely because it's highly unlikely. It's a lot of. But it's yeah. not impossible. Yeah. Highly unlikely. Highly unlikely. But not just, impossible. Just for skin tone, you, you can't say. Like skin tone. dark skin too, though. Mm-hmm. Right. Exactly. And he's light skin. I mean, I mean, I mean, my mom wasn't that dark. I mean, is what I'm saying. No, but she was, she was brown. Yeah. And Kyle was light. That shit skips sometimes. <laughs> yeah. So Bernie Mac got a light, he got a light skinned mm-hmm. cousin or something in uh, Philly, and that's where he got most of his skin complexion. It's from. probably more believable that Flip is uh, is Marlon Wayans' daddy, and he just don't know it. It makes more sense because of the, how the type of men, the type yeah. of men they are. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah, and I think Malika Watson would be able to. She knows who Flip is and yeah. will tell you your daddy over there. Yeah. yeah, based up. That's your daddy yeah. over there. So it's more likely that Bug don't know his daddy and the mom don't know mm-hmm. either. Yeah. Then, then uh, I, f- I feel like Watson. Bug's uh, story. We didn't talk about Bug's story. Bug's story actually turns out that he turns into Birdie. You think so? I don't think he makes it out that club alive. <laughs> <laughs> what? Man. Well, yeah. Motal is done. Yeah. Motal's dead. True. The, the he has a lot done. of muscle gone. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he he can shoot his way out. If if he makes it out the club, He's he birdie. does not strike me as a Avon Barksdale type yeah, of. Uh, he don't he have. Turn, he turns yeah. it. He don't Everything have the turned. mental fortitude. Yeah. Look at his to, eyes to be, before he pulls the trigger. Yeah. He, he, everything yeah. turned for for he's he's a gangster now. He's a soldier. He's that guy. <sighs> I think he'll bust his gun. But I don't think that he'll be leading yeah. no If he, no, no if he army. makes it out the club alive. Well, the, I didn't say the club was going to like thrive without yeah. him. <laughs> I'm just saying. I don't think no, he, he, just, he doesn't <laughs> doesn't strike me as as the heir okay. as, right. as the heir to yeah. the right. to the Sugar okay. Hill right. cocaine business. Mm-hmm. Um, right. Maybe I reach there. He's still trying to hoop. Right. All right, man. This is great. Uh. Silly as hell. Yes, sir. <laughs> I think we went the furthest left <laughs> in the predictions ever on this show. You're but welcome. above the rim, man. But I had a great time, man. Mm-hmm. Uh, I am your host, Big Ja. Yes, sir. This is my co-host, Brother T- Brother Tone. Tone Price. Yes, indeed. And our guest. Ken Pot. Yeah, the Ken Pot. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> my boy, Ken Edwin TV, man. Thank you for coming, bro. I love Thank you, dog. Yes, sir. Thank you. Love you, you know too, what I'm You blessed us, man. Yeah. Uh, tune in next time. Next week. On Blackbusters. Get involved. Go watch this film if you haven't seen it already and you haven't seen it in a long time. Go check it out. Um, it's on Netflix right now, I think. Go yep. do that, man. Get involved, and I'll see y'all next time, man. To the max. Peace. Hey, Amen. Blackbusters.